Um, so I've been a bit weak for the past few days. Um, so sorry that stream is a little bit late. <clears throat> but today we are doing more of the Inherited Turnabout. Whoa! Add more warm water <coughs> in my throat, so hopefully that should be fine. And, um, yeah, I thought that we were going to probably be able to do this case in, like, maybe two streams. And maybe we could have if I didn't start it, um, if I didn't start it, like, during the last stream. But uh, I thought that we were going to be able to do it in two streams, so I had to cut out another spin model, which is going to be the one for today, which, let's just get into it. And there he is! I had to cut out bad as well because I didn't have enough. <laughs> yeah, let's get into it. Uh, we are not playing as Gregory yet, so the bad and the title, ignore them for now. About halfway into stream, <laughs> that's when the title and the spinny bad will be correct. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I don't think so. Let's just, let's, let's just start. Yo, what's up? Moving my laptop a bit. Oops, I guess I went on for a little too long there. Something like that. Ha something like that. Happened. I had no idea. None of the case files I read went into such detail. Well, I doubt there would be anything in there that would be inconvenient to the prosecution. I thought my volume's always so loud for this. <laughs> Especially with that Von Karma at the head. Von Karma? I can also do it now, it's pretty cool. How did the investigation get from there? The desserts had disappeared from the victim's room, so the investigation hit a rough patch. Thanks to that, it took about a whole year before a verdict was handed down. One whole year? This was before the whole three-day pretrial system was established. Trials didn't need to finish in the short amount of time that they do now. I see. Did they ever find out why the victim's dessert disappeared? Well, kinda. His dessert was like a candy ice sculpture. Made from sherbet. Since it was made from ice, the general consensus was that it had melted. In air quotes, it had melted totally. However, that might not quite be the case. What do you mean? This museum used to be Mr. Master's mansion. The stage of the I-7 incident. And in this very place, they're exhibiting the sherbet salon, salon, salon from 18 years ago. Huh, the victim's dessert. Yep, though it could be just a replica of the original. That's why Uncle Ray had to come today to check it out. And for your old man too. Now then, let's get a move on and check out the room. I'm pretty sure it's over in the Winter Palace. Wait a minute, I'm the weird girl assistant now? Why am I behind? Hmm, the Winter Palace should be... Huh? It's locked up. That's odd. They've already opened the museum. Mr. Shields. According to the pamphlet we received at the entrance, the Winter Palace is over here. You fucking idiot. Keeping this in my brain. For some reason he thought it was the other one. Really? Ah, I could have sworn it was this one. Wait, this was Dover's, wasn't it? So that is... Right? This was delicious. They was talking about how it was Dover's, right? Really? I could have sworn it was this one. Alright, let's scoot. We gotta confirm the truth of what happened 18 years ago. Yo! Oh, whoa, who are these three wondrous people here that I don't know of any of them at all? I didn't realize that John was here. But Desiree and Ronnie, I knew her. Man, it's still as cold as ever. Uncle Ray's gonna freeze solid. It seems the Winter Palace lives up to its name. It's like a freezer in here. With the light dim like this, it's almost as if the room itself is made of ice. I think the control panel for the room temperature is on the back wall. <clears throat> Miles, why don't you check what temperature it's set at for me? 
Uncle Ray's gonna get give the curator a piece of his mind later. It's way too cold in here. Hmm, very well. But if you want to look around the room a bit, feel free to stay or freeze to your heart's content. I'll get the camera ready. I want to take some pictures of this place and show it to your old man. Why do you keep saying? Why do you keep saying that? My dad is dead, you fucking moron. Understood. Hi there, little guy that I don't know. There's a boy with a school bag. Did he come to the art gallery by himself? Hmm. She even quit her job in order to run this museum. I don't really get it. Perhaps one of his parents knows the curator. Yeah, random kid, but I don't know. Hi there. Well, how about this? I'll yell out, Master Mask is here. Yes, it's me. I'm Master Mask. Good, good. Wait, Ronnie. If you say that, you'll get arrested. Come on, if we don't plan properly, we won't be able to sell it. What are these two talking about? Don't worry about it, Edgewa. Oh, I gotta check this out for Uncle Ray. <coughs> hmm. 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 Mr. Shields, I can't find the temperature control panel. Ah, right. They keep it where it's hard to find. Just one moment. Huh? It's locked. Well, yeah, no shit, so that random random people can't just change the temperature and melt everything. Makes sense. They wouldn't want the guests changing the temperature themselves. According to the pamphlet, the Winter Palace has a temperature of 27 degrees Fahrenheit. Urgh! Now that is cold. Uncle Ray's gonna freeze to death. I guess I'll need to find someone to share body heat with. You're weird. You're weird, my dear fella. Preferably a beautiful lady. <laughs> wooga wooga. Jaw drops to the floor. Uh, uh. You're weird. Oh, are you trying to freeze me to death as well with those cold eyes? Of course not. There are two sculptures displayed here. These sculptures are replicas of the deserts that vanished 18 years ago. Impressive, huh? These sculptures made of ice. Yes. My father never got to see these ice sculptures. And now, 18 years later, I'm standing before them. Miles, sorry to bother you while you're deep in thought. Uh, could you turn this way a little? Hmm? Like this? Yes, yes, like that. Oh, look, he's getting a picture. Oh my god, just like, just like Gregory. Just like Gregory. Mr. Shields, you're not. Say cheese. Just like Gregory. Mr. Shields, please don't take pictures of me. But Edward's best like that. He doesn't like pictures being taken of him. I'm the same at Rajwa. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. I just wanted to make sure the camera works okay. That camera looks quite old. Yeah, well, that's because it's an old-fashioned camera. You know, an instant camera. It automatically develops the photo after shooting. Pretty cool, huh? Yes, I know. Though I've never used one. <laughs> You're quite the know-it-all. Know you really are the old man's son. Uh, could you move a bit? Uh, I want to take some more photos of the room. What the fuck are you doing? Why are we here? What is happening? His face has taken on an unusually serious expression. This is for the case. I don't know what it's gonna do, but this is for the case. This is for the case. He's been, he's been... Sussy. He's probably thinking about the IS-7 incident. Man, I snapped a bunch! And they're already developed, see? He shoved them in my face before I could reply. Well, I have one more question for you, Mr. Know-it-all. Do you know what these two sculptures represent? Uh, goat and people. Got them. They're sculptures of Taurus and Gemini from the Winter Constellations. I'm a Gemini, I think. I looked it up and I'm pretty sure I am. I'm a Gemini, I think. Ooh, bingo. Not bad, Miles. That's probably why they call this room the Winter Palace. Uncle Ray's feeling generous today. So I'll give you a copy of this photo, too. Uh, th thanks. Awesome. Oh my god, we don't have any of the evidence. That didn't click for me for some reason, we obviously- And we don't have any of the people, do we? 
No, it's just rare. Only rare. Damn. Are these replicas of the constellation desserts that were made 18 years ago? Yeah, looks like these two sculptures are also made out of sherbet. Uncle Ray's only seen the real sculptures in photos. But these sculptures look like the real deal. This was what you wanted to show me? Yeah. I think your old man would have wanted you to see it as well. <coughs> I'm sorry. Uncle Ray didn't have the courage to come here all alone. Don't apologize. This was a good opportunity to learn about my father's case. That means a lot to me. So, you want me to take another comment's commemorative photo? No thanks. What are we doing? I'm leaving. Miles! Since we came all the way here, why don't you take a look around? Well, since this room is so cold, I thought I'd go to a warmer room. If you're that cold, why don't you borrow my clothes? What? You don't have any layers. And in exchange, I'll borrow your jacket. That's a bad deal. No thanks. Let's try enduring this for just a little longer. Wait, is this correct? No, that is a star sign. <laughs> a giant block of ice is being displayed here. It appears to be quite heavy. No, the inside must be hollow. On the surface, there's an image of the stars and a written description. The, pl the Pleiad Zeus, also known as the Seven Sisters, a star cluster that comprised a part of Taurus. But for all these stars to be grouped together, as a cluster, the ways of the ancient people must have been very imp imprecise. That's all that we had to look at, you weirdo. Alrighty, now that I've got some pictures of this room, let's check out the other palaces. Might as well see them all, since we're already here. I suppose you're right. Uh, Back to yell just now. It came from the fountain patio. Let's go, Miles. Oh golly. Look, it's two buddies. One of them I don't like. One of them I do like. Has someone passed out on the floor? And that man there is... Oh golly, what the heck? Larry, what are you doing here? No, I'm getting ahead of myself. What exactly happened here? I... Uh, is this the photo that was on Astro's thumbnail? I remember seeing something similar, but it might have, it might have been this photo. I wasn't really paying attention because I didn't want to get so, so, so spoiled. <laughs> but oh my goodness. What the golly happened, my dear fella? Me when I, me when I drank too much orange juice before bedtime. <laughs> Edgy! I saw something that no one should ever have to see again! Larry, calm down. Why is there someone passed out here? Uh, I didn't do anything. He just fell down all of a sudden. This man. He can't be. Oh, who are these lovely ladies? Excuse me, but what is the matter here? You can't raise such a ruckus in the museum, boys. It's difficult to tell who's speaking, you question mark people. Hmm? The scent is... Seems like he's still breathing, but this is a bad situation. Miles, it's not safe here. Get everyone out of here. Everyone, get away from that room right now. There's poison gas coming out from it. What? Excuse me? Is that the room that Ray tried to go in? Is that why the Winter Palace was moved? Because there was fucking poison gas in there? <laughs> what? <coughs> oh my goodness gracious me. Hmm. <coughs> oh god, two of the- two of the- two of the creepy guys up together. Larry and Ray should never have met. These two will get up to some- Bad deeds together. Mr. Shields, how's the victim? It looks like you breathed in a little too much of that poison gas. He's still unconscious. According to the doctor in the ambulance, there are no external injuries or any other wounds. Thanks to our fortunate timing, we were able to save him before he was too far gone. But he's not out of the woods yet. He's currently being treated by a specialist in the infirmary. I see. Mr. Shields, is he an acquaintance of yours? Yeah, you could say that. He's Dane Gustavia. He was involved in the IS-7 incident. The pastry chef? 
after he was involved in the case 18 years ago. At least the other guy's doing alright. Is he a friend of yours, Miles? Yes, you could say that. It is fortunate you were not hurt, Larry. What? You could say that's supposed to mean edgy? How could you treat a childhood friend like that? There's, that's just cruel. And also, when I'm dressed like this, I'm called Larice Donum, you know? So don't call me Larry, it's Larice. This man is Larry Butts. He is nothing but trouble, but he's been one of my friends since grade school. Some time ago, he awakened to the calling of an art and assumed the art alias Larice Donum. But a Butts by any other name would smell just as much. That's so poetic. Really? You two are childhood friends. I better report that to your old man too. I'm sure it'll bring him joy. He was always worried about you not being able to make friends. Damn, what a what a roast. Your dad was always talking about how much of a loser you were. You were never making any any friends. He was always like, damn. I'm I'm afraid that my son is just gonna just gonna be sad and lonely for his entire pathetic life. I'm impressed that you made even one friend, and this dude seems like a loser too. Good for you, Edgy. Aren't you glad to have a bosom buddy like me? That means titty. My father was worried about something like that. What a bitch. But anyway, what are you doing in a place like this, Larry? How many times do I have to tell you, Edgy? I'm Larise! What are you doing in a place like this? Yikes, don't glare at me while I'm your dog. So you're going to tell me? Isn't it obvious? I've come here to study hard. I'm gonna take Mandy on a date here, so I was just doing some scouting beforehand. Mandy, keep that name in mind, because there's gonna be fucking... There's gonna, it's gonna be important. Or not, I don't know. Aren't you just using art as an excuse to go on a date? Not bad, Larice. Maybe you can introduce some pretty girls to me next time. God, this is what I was talking about. The two creeps are gonna get together and they're gonna be creepy. Oh, now you're talking my language, dude. I think I'm getting a headache. Thanks, Miles. By the way, Larice, did you notice anything strange when you found the victim? Nah, not really. Nothing that would make you say, I saw something that no one should ever have to see. Oh yeah, that. I was just surprised when I saw that old dude fall down out of nowhere like that. I didn't do anything this time for once. Is that anything to brag about? Catherine! Visitors, we wish to deeply apologize for the disturbance. I'm the curator of this museum. My name is Catherine Hall. She's also one of the people involved in the ISO incident. Hello there, Miss Kate. Monsieur Shields, thank you for your continued assistance. She was the woman we saw at the reception. So, she's the curator here. We apolo- oh, look at her. We apologize for the inconvenience. Sorry, I turned French. I don't think I'm French. We apologize for the inconvenience, especially since it's the opening day. No, no, you don't have to apologize for a thing, Miss Kate. Ah, I almost forgot. Let me introduce you to someone. This is Miles Edgeworth. He's Gregory Edgeworth's son. Oh, Monsieur Edgeworth. Look at her go. Oh my god, she's so fabulous. Oh, how wonderful. I meet the sun after 18 years. It is an honor to meet you, defense attorney Miles Edgeworth. You fucking bitch, I'm the prosecutor. Wow, that was amazing. You still got that golden voice, Miss Kate. Is she? <laughs> Actually, I'm a prosecutor. I, I need water, holy shit. If I'm singing and shit, I need fucking water. <clears throat> Actually, I'm a prosecutor. Oh, so you're a prosecutor. My most sincere apologies, Monsieur Edgeworth. This woman's very polite, but slightly odd. Uh, Katie, could I get your autograph right here, pretty please? I don't like you. Yes, if you so desire. Why do you want her autograph? Hey, don't tell me. You don't know who she is. My, my, you really don't keep up with the entertainment news, do you, Miles? What? What is this unbearable atmosphere? She's a superstar actress who's been in tons of musicals and movies. She's a great singer, too. <laughs> Currently, I'm the curator of this museum. I have already retired from the stage. I finished filming my role for my last movie a few days ago. Madame, oh, my co-star has also said that they would come here 
Once I open the doors. And here you are, Montrotis. I return this to you. Thanks a bunch, Katie. I'll treasure it for the rest of my life. Well, well. Looks like me and Larry share the same interests. Yeah, you're both fucking weirdos. So I gathered. Larry, you said you're here to study art. Why don't you practice drawing as well? Since you're here at Mintol's Art Museum. Oh, it would be an honor to have Mintol artists sketch our exhibits. Oh, I guess even you have some good ideas every now and then, Edgy. I'll do a bit of sketching for Katie here. <laughs> what an amusing person. Forgive the disturbance. Incidentally, who was the woman that was with you earlier? That was Madame Delicious Scones. She is currently assisting in the treatment of Montreal Gustavia in the infirmary. Oh no, not Jeff the Master Chef. Welcome in, Dazza. It's Jeff the Master Chef. That sounds like a kid show. I'd watch that. Jeff the Master Chef. I'd watch that. <laughs> Welcome in, Dazza. Even though I said infirmary, since this is an art museum now, it is only provisional. As I'm the only staff member working here, I cannot take a leave of my duties for too long. Delicious scones. I believe we've heard that name before, Mr. Shields. Yep, looks like the whole gang from the I-7 incident here. Well, except when Carmi's fucking dead, and Gregory is also fucking dead. And also bad, he's not dead, but he's in prison or something. What, you mean Jeff is in prison? Yeah, of course. Well, I doubt that's a coincidence. What will Jeff the Master Chef- He's in prison, he, he can only- he can only- Jeff. He can no longer Chef, he can only Jeff. He's a hardened criminal now, he's Jeffrey, not Jeff. Muncho Shields, Muncho Edgeworth, would you care for some hot tea? Oh, Miss Kate's tea. Ah, oh, that takes me back. Yes, if you please. I'm so glad to be hearing these clattering noises again that take just a while. <laughs> now I must take my leave. I must explain the situation to the other visitors. Alright, thanks for everything. That is that thing. The thing from Pierre Hoquette that was talked about. That was in the evidence, but we didn't ever get to use. <coughs> that smells like Ceylon tea. I should drink it before it cools. Oh, this Ceylon tea is of very high quality. And this aroma of citrus. Does wonders for your concentration, right? <laughs> your old man said the exact same thing 18 years ago. How the fuck do you remember that? What the hell? But the saucer- but the saucers back then were chilled. Today they're warm. Hmm, anyway. Don't you think this current situation is rather unusual? You mean how everyone involved in the case 18 years ago has gathered at this museum? Who'll be singing and dancing and making pastry? That's- only Catherine can do that now. It's really sad. Yes, I would like to be in charge of this case, if at all possible. Oh heck! Mr. Edward, sir, are you okay? Mr. Edward! Mr. Shields! I came here as fast as I could when I heard that you were done in by the poison gas. Oh, my s- you're weird. How about a hug after being parted for so long? You're a creep. No. Jeez, so you're perfectly fine? I can't believe you made us worry so much. Detective Gumshoe. But her name doesn't rhyme with Chef. She can be Catherine... She can be... She can be math. <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> what is the meaning of bringing Kay here? Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I knew the gas was dangerous, so I tried to stop her. But no matter how much I ran and ran and ran and ran, I couldn't gain any ground. <laughs> when it comes to running away, no one's faster than the Adagrasu. But you weren't running away from here. But you weren't running away from here. Oh, damn, look at me. I have a fucking gas mask of this I'm all set, sir. I'll start investigating the crime scene. Since there might still be traces of gas in the room, I'll have to ask everyone to wait here. Very well. I'm counting on you. Good luck in there, Flatfoot. I miss Jeff the Chef. Yeah, he's been sentenced to death. He's dead now. Wow, Gummy's so cool. He's just like a detective. But that's what he is.
Yes, that's worth here. Miss Retroid! Oh my god, it's me! Gun shit! Fuck! It looks like the poison gas has dissipated, sir! Is that a step ladder? Detective, calmly explain the state of the Autumn Palace. Yes, sir. I'll start with the exhibits. On the left, there's a statue with two people. So this is the Winter Palace, right? And on the right, there's a statue of an animal with two horns. A statue of two people and a statue of an animal with horns. Isn't that the exact same thing I saw in the Winter Palace just a while ago? Also, the room's wet with water thanks to the sprinkler system. Now we have Catherine the Cooker of Math. Well, that there it is. That also prevented the gas from harming anyone else, Bull. The sprinkler system. Was there a fire in the room? There are no signs of a fire, and the fire alarm hasn't gone off either, sir. The sprinklers in this museum are the kind that detects both smoke and fire. Ah, <sighs> sorry. I'll admit, I'm a little bit out of it today. I'm hoping that I... Um, gain some brain halfway through. If it detects smoke, it'll send an alert to the security room. I think the poison gas might have set off the alarm in the security room, sir. Was there anyone in the security room at the time? The only one working here is the curator, Miss Catherine Hall, sir. She's been in the reception booth opposite the security room ever since the museum opened. Man, where's Jeff? Could release a puff pastry right now? I'm sorry, he's dead. There's nothing I can do about it, except if we get a spirit medium, but those don't exist in this game. Did Miss Hall turn on the sprinklers? The sprinkler system can only be operated manually from the security room, sir. If it had been automatic, it would have sprayed water all over the exhibits. Since the system is manual, the situation can be examined and the exhibits moved if need be. I guess there would be more priority over the exhibits than the building, only at the museum. But it's way too cold in this room, sir. Get the small child with better medium powers than Maya? I'm sorry. Hell's also dead. I don't know what to say. Isn't this supposed to be the Autumn Palace? It feels more like the dead of winter in here. Yeah, we get it. The Autumn Palace is cold. We get it. The Winter Palace was switched. We know. Crap, who isn't dead? I think everyone's dead, eventually. I checked the thermostat earlier, and it was set to 27 degrees Fahrenheit. I couldn't believe it. Why would the Autumn Palace be set to the same temperature as the Winter Palace? It's almost like they moved the exhibit for some reason because of the poison gas or some shit. Does that mean it was Catherine that poisoned it? Because she's the one who would have... She's the only employee here. That's all I know about for now, sir. If I figure out anything else, I'll give you another call. I see. I'm counting on you, detective. Yota. Yota, what did Gummy say? He said it feels more like winter in the Autumn Palace. Huh? I don't get it. I haven't been able to enter the room personally. But it should be possible to look inside after the police have finished investigating. Hmm, I'd like to know what it's like in there myself. Isn't there anyone else who knows about the incident? Ah, there is someone. Maz's friend, right? Friend? Though he's such a nuisance, we have no choice but to listen to what he has to say, for now. Speaking of chef, HelloFresh has some good food. Sorry, not sponsored, I can't talk about HelloFresh. Currently eating a vegan chili, it's pretty good. That's nice. I ate it earlier. <laughs> I ate it just before stream, that's why I was a bit late. Wait, you mean... Oh, you're here too, Kay. You're looking as cute as ever. You're also walking a thin line. <laughs> Long time to see. It's, uh, Larry, isn't it? Kay, right now my name's Larice. I'm an artist, that's why. Ah, so that's your pen name. Larice, the artist formerly known as Larry. Wow, you really are a good girl, Kay. You're weird, I'm a weird, yeah. Uh, nothing like edgy here. Fuck you. Larry, I have many things I need to ask you. What's this? Don't tell me you suspect me again! 
You're gonna say because I was first on the scene. I must be the culprit, aren't you? I never said anything like that. I only wanted to tell me what you saw. Oh, I'm yawning. One second. Holy shit, it's Larry. It is. Why are you involved with murder and painting? Yeah, we all know that the two can't coexist. You can't murder and paint. You said you saw something that no one should ever have to see, did you not? Blood! Now I'm saying I didn't see nothing, and I didn't do nothing. Probably. Oh my, he didn't seem so confident at the end there. There are somewhat troublesome circumstances surrounding this man. The saying when something smells, it's usually the box. Still holds true, 26 years on. One could say his tendency to attract trouble is legendary. How old is Larry at this point? Oh damn, everyone's here, the whole gang. Freedom poison gas, nice. This dude's 26, damn. Oh my god, it's me, the gumshoe. One could say his tendency to attract trouble is legendary. It seems he's done something troublesome, without even realizing it himself. I'll just have to try and extract the truth from him. Oh, logic chess. My papa could never logic chess like I could. My goal is to expose whatever Larry's hiding. However, I didn't see nothing. I didn't do nothing. Larry is an extremely restless and troublesome man. Until he cools down, I'll just wait and see. We're going to put the only person that works here as a sussy baka? Yeah, probably. And my papa didn't have mind chess. <laughs> I learned this from Manny Von Karma. First, I'll ask him about his girl. This isn't something I can't handle. I'll finish this quickly. Logic chess begin! It's been so long since we've done logic chess, it feels. In which by that I mean we didn't do any last stream and that's it. What was your purpose for coming to the art gallery? What? Are you saying that I don't belong in an art gallery? You don't belong here. Hey! If you're not gonna talk, hold that pose so I can paint y your portrait. And then, I'll scribble all over the portrait I drew of you. I was just joking. I would never scribble over my paintings, of course. They're works of art, after all. I don't think any of your works would qualify as art. Don't look down on me! There are people who recognize my skills as an artist. <laughs> I can just bully Larry. It's very tempting. Mandy's my girlfriend, but it's really my painting she fell in love with. That's why I'll sketch anything my girlfriend likes. Then why are you here on your own today? So what? Can't get with the girlfriend spend some time alone? I just, I just have to stay silent. Mandy said she's a Gemini. Yo, Sam. I thought you'd be happy if I showed her a sketch of it. On our next date. Do you really have that much confidence in the sketch? Well, I'm not so confident about this one. But I thought you would be happy if I did a sketch of her astrological sign. I think that this doesn't count as him being restless. Hmm, I see. That's just like you. I like the fact you haven't said a thing and he's spilling so much details. Yeah, we didn't, we literally don't have to do anything, it just keeps talking. To impress Mandy, you came here to see the Gemini sculpture, didn't you? What? How'd you find out? Because you just unknowingly told me everything. Well then, I'm not saying another word from now on. He's finally decided to remain silent. In that case, I'll be more relentless in my questioning. I'll try to find out what he was doing here at the art gallery. I can't believe you got that for free, yeah, damn. I'll expose his true motives, this shouldn't take long. You, just what did you do in this art gallery? Well, what's with that glare? I don't really remember anything. I didn't have a pamphlet, so I just loitered around the fountain patio. Don't they give you a pamphlet at the reception booth after you pay the admission fee? 
Huh? Oh, is that right? So, the admission wasn't free, huh? Ah. Uh, you didn't pay? Larry. Don't tell me. You sneaked in here without paying. I'm sorry! I didn't mean to do anything bad. It's just... There was no one at the reception booth. It's Captain G. Sussy. That's why I thought you could come in here for free. Ahem. <clears throat> That's not how chess works. What do you mean? You don't just throw chess pieces at the opponent's face? Miss Hall wasn't at the reception booth. Yeah, it didn't look like there was anyone on the other side of the desk. Come to think of it, Gumshoe did say something about that. Miss Hall was busy activating the sprinklers from the security room. Because of the incident, she had to leave the reception booth. But Larry was already in, so that's not what we're talking about. Poor Katie, she went to all that trouble to open up the place. And now the art gallery's start attraction, the Winter Palace, is completely ruined. You know about the Winter Palace? That's... but you... that... we all thought it's the Autumn Palace, so what are you talking about? You're certainly well informed about the Winter Palace, for someone without a pamphlet. The Winter Palace is where your goal, the Gemini Sculpture, is located. You had your sights set on the Winter Palace from the beginning, didn't you? What? How'd you find me out again? That's right, my goal was to see the Gemini Sculpture. From the very beginning, the Winter Palace was the very reason why I came here. He confessed quite easily. You can never tell anything with the ma with this man. Next, I'll ask for further information regarding the Winter Palace. <clears throat> he may still have some fight left in him. Hello, welcome in, Gloom. I hope you're having a good day. Welcome in. I'll watch his reactions and extract the information I need. Uh, oh, heck. I have no more use for you. Larry, did you see anything in the Winter Palace? You're still hung up on that? Didn't I say that I didn't see anything? I started to think that it wasn't such a good idea to come to the art gallery. I needed to leave soon to meet with my girlfriend. Hmm, I don't have enough clues, fuck. How did you find out what I was doing? All I was doing was telling you what I wanted to do, exactly. <laughs> I was going crazy with Iris Everest and the Investigations 2 ending, and I just saw you on Twitter that you were streaming again. That's fair, the Estonian Investigations 2 ending is wild. Then again, I can't remember it too well. I just remember the big baddie at the end. <laughs> Larry, did you also enter the Winter Palace? I'm tired today, if you couldn't tell. Well, what's with that look of distrust? Sure, I tried going in, but... You couldn't get in? Well, it was locked, wasn't it? You tried to go in, but you weren't actually able to, right? Yeah, that's about right. I wanted to go in, but... Then that old geezer collapsed. I was a little freaked out. So, you couldn't get in because the victim of the poison gas collapsed. Where are you getting these pawns? From my chessboard, obviously. Yeah, he fell right out of the Winter Palace. Hmm, I'm sure the victim emerged from the Autumn Palace. From the Autumn Palace. If it... Edgeworth, how can you not figure it out? Ray thought that was the Winter Palace, Gumshoe's saying it looks like the Winter Palace, Larry's saying that that's the Winter Palace, and you're still like, no, that's the Autumn Palace, I'm positive. If it weren't for that poison gas incident, I'd be in there sketching the Gemini sculpture right now. Larry must have mistaken the Autumn Palace for the Winter Palace. They were switched, Edgeworth. That aside, it seems his goal was to sketch the sculpture. Heh, <laughs> this should be a useful clue. I can't believe you stole Sir Knightley's chessboard. I did, I'm so sorry. Perhaps I should try using that clue. What about your sketch? You came here to sketch the sculpture for your girlfriend, did you not? I don't think you would give up that easily. Even after the victim collapsed, you could still see inside the room from the outside, right? Well, I may have gotten a tiny glimpse, but... There's no evidence that I saw something scary in there, right? You saw something scary. My, my. I'm disappointed it turned out to be this simple. Larry, you saw something scary at the crime scene, didn't you? <laughs> Edgy, you, can you read my mind? In that case, 
There's no point in keeping any more secrets from you. You just told me everything of your own accord. That was a complete waste of time. But finally, it's checkmate. <laughs> Larry's just an open book. He's not even an open book. He's a fucking just sheet of paper just lying on the ground. I had my eyes fixed on the Gemini sculpture. Objection! You've mentioned the Gemini sculpture many times now, but... I don't believe the sculpture you saw was the Gemini one. What? Was it a mirage, then? Larry mistakenly thought he saw the Winter Palace. This piece of evidence shows what Larry really saw. Is it just... The fact that it's not the Winter Palace, it says Autumn Palace? Take, that! Take a look at this pamphlet. This man's been wrongly framed, like, what, for us eight times? Larry? Yeah, he's been framed a few times. It's casual. We like it when Larry's framed. And the Autumn Palace. The pi- the piss- I don't know how to say this. Pieces? Piss. Pisses. Piss. Pieces. Pisces. Pisces. Capricorn, Aries, and Aquarius sculptures are displayed. Incidentally, I can confirm that the Gemini sculpture is located in the Winter Palace. Wait a minute. Is it- can we look at stuff on this? Oh damn, there's two pages! Spring, winter, so... Okay. Incidentally, I can confirm that the Gemini sculpture is located in the Winter Palace. Therefore, the sculpture you saw could not have been the Gemini one. I knew it! Hmm, I expected him to be a bit more shocked at the news. I thought it was kind of strange. I knew I saw a single goddess. And that transformation was no mirage. Transformation, you say? Oh, you're curious too, Edgy. Well, nothing for it. Guess I'll have to show you. Show me? What exactly? I drew a picture of the very scene I saw back then. But I really can't believe what I drew. Picture? What picture? This one right here. Oh damn, that is blood. But what? What is this disturbing picture? Is that sculpture weeping tears of blood? Larice, this picture is scary. Okay, it scared me too. This Gemini sculpture suddenly transformed into a goddess right before my eyes. Is that sculpture bleeding? Looks like a... I couldn't help but scream. So the victim collapsing wasn't what surprised him. What do you mean when you say transformed? I don't really understand it myself. The little Halford's body just turned into a fish. A fish goddess. That would be the piece. PC. Fuck. I don't know. Pisces. I think it's Pisces. I'm gonna say Pisces. The Pisces sculpture, wouldn't it? In mythology, Pisces represents the fish that a goddess and her son transform into. Really? So Pisces isn't just a couple of ordinary fish? Edgy, you don't think that sculpture's cursed, do you? Those tears of blood turn this Gemini sculpture into a fish. Preposterous. He simply mistook the Pisces sculpture, Pisces, for the Gemini one. Don't tell me Larry's gonna be friends for the millionth time. I hope so. He deserves it. Oh, you put the sketch in your organizer? Hmm. Even a sketch like this can be used as scrap paper after all. How could you? But it's strange. Why did only the lower half of the sculpture transform? Pi, it's Pi. Alright, Pisces, got it. Uncle Ray's a bit curious about what went on the Autumn Palace. Indeed. I wonder if someone tampered with the PC's Pisces sculpture. Yes, Edgeworth here. Most Edgeworth, we finally searched. We have finished searching the room. The poison gas isn't a threat anymore, so you can enter the crime scene. Right, good work, detective. It seems we can enter the Autumn Palace now. Nice timing, Mr. Detective. Let's go right now. I want to see the Pisces sculpture. If Kay's going, I'm going too. No, you're not. 
I was planning on bringing him along anyway. Right then, let's proceed to the Autumn Palace. You're going to continually fuck up that word and I'm with you on it? <laughs> yeah, I am. But to be fair, I also keep on interchanging between Gustavia and Gustavia, so I'm always fucking up words. So, this is the Autumn Palace. It certainly does resemble the Winter Palace. I've been waiting, sir. Oh? Uh -huh. Aren't you that Harry Potts guy? Wrong! Hadn't the restone him? Never mind that, Detective. Your report, if you please. Roger that, sir. Uh, we discovered a used gas burner during our investigation. Then also, we're still warm when we found it, so it may be related to the incident. Hmm, was it used to heat something? Was that ladder always there on the ground? Oh, actually, it's a step ladder, you fucking dumbass. It was probably used by some of the person who set up the poison gas. The poison gas was released when someone lifted the lid of that glass case, sir. Hmm? The Pisces Sculpture! Oh, seems like you know about it, sir. Well then, do you know what the sculpture next to it is? Since we're in the Autumn Palace, it would probably be the Capricorn Sculpture. As expected of Mr. Retroid, I thought it was Taurus myself. I was thrown off as it was covered by this weird cloth. Oh, the fluorescent... the fluorescent cloth! I don't know what it's doing here. I, I, I certainly am. I, I do be. Evidence from the I-7 incident. No matter what it is or how it got here, Is that how they transformed into half fish? Just there was a blanket on them and, they, and it fell? Oh my god, wait, there totally is a blanket there, what the heck? There totally is just another fluorescent cloth there and it just fell off. Larry! Come on. The sculptures in this room are all covered with this fluorescent cloth. And because they're hidden, it makes me want to see them even more. Let's take a look. I'll just get this cloth off. I win the Autumn Palace? I don't know, I think it's the Winter Palace, and we're all being deceived. Wow, they're beautiful! This is awesome, I'm so happy right now. You don't think, the transformation Larry saw was in fact the moment that, that the cloth wrapped around the lower half of Pisces fell. See Edgy? It wasn't a mirage or a mistake after all. No. <sighs> Hey Miles, there sure is something strange about this room. I think it's the Summer Palace. I think that that is a wild claim, but pop off. It looks exactly the same as the Winter Palace we were in just a moment ago. Yes, I agree. Perhaps the sculptures were hidden to make it look like the Winter Palace. If you have the cloth around the lower half of the Pisces sculpture, it looks like Gemini. Capricorn's a half fish too, I the lower half, and it resembles Taurus. The remaining two, which couldn't be altered with trickery, were covered up. The Autumn Palace was made to look like the Winter Palace. Why did Ray think that this was the Winter Palace then? So it seems, Mr. Shields. It looks like we'll need to conduct an investigation of the Autumn Palace too. Oh, they Justy. Oh, hey. Mr. DeBest and Judge Courtney. Hey, hey, hey! You guys again? This is a problem, you see. This is my crime scene. Three scumbag, it's the prosecutor, and this is our crime scene. Mr. Edgeworth, it seems my power is insufficient. If you're here, then it would appear that you still haven't understood my warnings. No. Furthermore, you know full well your reckless actions will cause trouble for that detective. In the name of the goddess of law, I must pass judgment. Yeah, I've got it all wrong, Bull. I was the one who asked Mr. Edgeworth to investigate. Really? Well then, Flatfoot, I'll have to do that. That? Yeah, that. Uh, right. Cut your salary. Looking forward to your next payday. I've always wanted to say that. Oh, you're the last person I want cutting, cutting my salary, Bull. I only want Edgeworth cutting my salary, Bull. Why is she still annoying? What are you talking about? She's amazing. We love we, we love Courtney. She's great. 
Velvet de Best. I am only cooperating with the police as a witness to this incident. Detective Gumshoe is not to blame. Hmm, so that's how it is. Well then, should I be raising his salary? No, that's not what I meant. But it would be really nice to get my salary raised. Your mercy is deeply moving, Sebastian. But past transgressions must lead to further judgment. I just realized her name is a pun. Everyone's name is a pun. You only just realized that just in caught me is a pun? For a judge? <laughs> Prosecutor Edgeworth, and all in his company, depart at once from this holy site. But, but that's... we only just got here. The one given the goddess of law's blessing for this incident was Sebastian. In other words, Mr. DeBest is the prosecutor in charge of this case. That's right, Mr. Edgeworth. Your opening performance is over. Besides, I've already got my eyes set in the culprit. What? Is it going to be a lorry? A hoopal? Well, naturally. That artist. You called it, Deza. <laughs> me? Hey, what's going on, Edgy? Don't ask me. I can't understand his reasoning. <laughs> If you can't understand how the best prosecutor thinks, it simply shows how inculpable you are. It seems he doesn't know what inculpable even means. See, Edward keeps on printing out stuff like that where he does like a phrase wrong or says a different word. I never pick up on it. <laughs> I never pick up on it and I'm like, oh my god, Sebastian, you said, you said the wrong phrase. I'm, I always just go along with it and then Edward's like, I think he meant this. And I'm like, did he? Oh, okay. God fucking damn it, Larry, stop getting framed for shit you don't do. Yeah, at least get framed for the shit that you did do. Come on, Larry. That's right, Sebastian. Prosecutor Edgeworth is quite incapable. Um, yes, he's incapable. She just nonchalantly corrected him. Don't underestimate my intelligence gathering skills. I just came from the infirmary and asked the doctor there. About the cause of the poison gas. Get friend for trespassing, not the murder. Exactly. And what was the cause? Uh, some normal substance. What was its name again? Uh, hold on a second. I'll call the doctor to make sure. Since Sebastian's on the phone, I'll answer for him. In that case, why didn't you tell us before he called? The poison gas was caused by the mixing of two different types of chemicals. Their names are Normalium and Fatalium. So what are those chemicals exactly? Normalium's a red liquid that's commonly used in everyday products. Because it's normal, I see. It can be found in paint and detergent, among other things, but it is not toxic by itself. And then Fatalium is fatal, you get it. So you're saying that it's a substance, substance readily available to anyone? Yes, but Fatalium, on the other hand, is not so easy to obtain. Its name sure does sound dangerous. What's it used for? It is the active ingredient of a white pesticide known as Megatoxin X. Fatalium itself also has a deep white color, but it's not readily sold in stores. It's nearly impossible to obtain domestically. Right now, we're looking into how this chemical was obtained. Is it gonna be because... Delicia was a... Pharmacist? BS chemicals that don't fucking exist. Exactly. I don't know how to actually make poison gas. This game doesn't want to actually teach you how to make poison gas. That would be probably illegal. And they think Larry would know this. <laughs> okay, I have finally found out the names of those chemicals. Judge Courtney's already told us. We don't need to hear it again. Eh? Uh, fine then. I'll cut to the chase. You know that normalium from the poison gas is also used in paint, right? Today, out of everyone who visited the art gallery, the only one carrying paint was that artist. That's why we're suspecting him? Because he has paint? You're treating me as the culprit just because of that? I object to the red paint on the palette you're carrying. Hey, Edgy, don't you think this prosecutor is kind of an idiot? Indeed. Although I've only known him for a short time, his logic is always absurd. Hey, don't ignore me. It's all right, Sebastian. They're only doing it because they're jealous. Oh, sorry, afraid of you. Like the first star to appear at night, show us reasoning that shines the best. The first star shines best? Not bad. Hey, you guys better listen up too. I don't want to listen. Shut up. I'm... No, I'm going over here now. 
I need to investigate the other scene. That artist was the first to discover the victim, so naturally he's the best suspect. The poison gas was caused by normalium, a chemical found in paint, right? As he was carrying paint near the victim, he would have had the best chance. The paint, along with being the first witness, and that pretty much proves he's the culprit. <laughs> what do you mean your friend lied just because he had paint? Yeah, that's such a flimsy reason. So, what do you think, Justine? We cannot ignore the possibility. Well then, Mr. Artist, please tell us the truth. Did you leave red paint at the crime scene? Or else, did you cause the poison gas to go off? The only thing I leave behind is my bond of love with you. I don't know who you are. Please watch what you say. My gavel is already prepared to declare you guilty. Objection! That's, that one's fair. Please pay no heed to this man's statement. Objection! Objection! Hey, hey, you guys! Ignoring my reasoning just because it's flawless won't do you any good. Mr. Radworth, if you've already admitted defeat, you should take your leave. Hmm. Even though I don't really have time to deal with your ridiculous reasoning. That artist was the first to discover the victim, so naturally he's the best suspect. Indeed, at first glance, this man seems suspicious. However... At first glance? Ugh, what's with that first all of a sudden? You, are you trying to steal my spot as the star of the Chinese best? Huh? Would that make me the best artist? Larry, don't make this any more confusing than it already is. Mr. The Best, continue your reasoning, now. The poison gas was caused by normalium, a chemical found in paint, right? Yes, apparently normalium is used in many everyday products. Right, so the red paint is definitely suspicious. But it's also used in things other than paint, right? Hmm, I guess you have a point. What do you think, Justine? Like, if there was a way that Larry could obtain Fatalium, that would make sense, because that's really rare, but like, non normally, it sounds like you just go, to, go down to the corner shop and just get some. <laughs> That's right. Normalium is also used in deter detergent, for example. In other words, it might not have been paint that caused the gas. That's not true. Let me finish my reasoning. As he was carrying paint near the victim, he would have had the best chance. The boy comes in, asks three questions, runs into the room and says, I'm going to pin this murder on Larry. <laughs> Even if paint is the cause of the poison gas, that does not mean he's guilty. <laughs> well then, if the pain is not the cause, that doesn't mean he's innocent either. Now he's just trying to sound clever. Mimicking what Mr. Edward says will make you look cool at all. Okay, please don't make the nice statements look bad. Now then, it's about time to wrap up my shining logic. The pain, along with being the first witness, that pretty much proves he's the culprit. Do you truly claim that Larry is the culprit based on just that? Huh? You got a problem with that? If you have a problem, then present evidence. Mr. Redworth, it looks like he really wants you to do that. <laughs> Indeed, then I will do as he wishes and present evidence. It seems he doesn't pay much attention to what other people are saying. There's a clear contradiction in Mr. DeBest's logic. I'd even bother making the phone call. I'll finish this quickly. This is a waste of time. So what did he say? I genuinely was not paying any attention. Yes, there was the first to discover the victim, so he's the best suspect. The poison gas was caused by Normalium. As he was carrying pen at the victim, he would have had the best chance. That pretty much... Poison gas was caused by an O'Malley and mechanical fun and pair, right? Is it? Objection! 
Yeah, it's just simply that it wasn't in pain, okay. <laughs> Mr. the best, your logic is more akin to a shooting star than a shining star. <laughs> it shines the best like a shooting star, right? It may shine brightly for a brief moment, but then it burns itself out. The poison gas originated from inside the glass case of the P Pisces sculpture. Exactly, so that's where the artist set off the gas, right? Fuck. Oh, fuck shit. He used the normalium in his red paint. As your senior, let me give you one piece of advice. Listen to the explanations of others. The poison gas was caused by mixing both normalium and fatalium together. The normalium contained in the ferret paint is not enough by itself. Uh, really? But I thought I heard that normalium caused the fatality. Don't tell me you just misheard the forensic report. The darn it! By the time Larry discovered the victim, the room was already filled with poison gas. It is time for you to realize how incapable you really are. Hey, what do you mean by incapable? You tried to use that word earlier, and you still don't know what it means? He means to say, you're lacking in ability. Incidentally, incapable has a completely different meaning. I get it. You're making fun of me again, aren't you? I'm merely saying you were incapable in your investigation. <gasps> Motherfucking kids, I... Is he? I... What the heck, he's the same age as me? No! This isn't right. Before you insult Sebastian, I still have some doubts about your own statement. What kind of doubts? For all we know, Mr. Artis could have simply answered the Autumn Palace at an earlier time. That's... Moreover, do you have evidence that the red paint is unrelated to the case? Do you have evidence that it's related? The most important thing now is not the red paint, the red normalium and the white fatalium. Exactly how were these two substances mixed? I believe that is our main concern. Naturally. It was Sebastian's job to investigate that. Were it not for your interference, we would have found that that by it now. I never intend to interfere. On the contrary, I'd like to cooperate. Don't tell me you're going to say you know the cause of the poison gas. How the poison gas started. I have something that may shed some light on this matter. Sebastian, do not fall for his bluff. Come now, it's fine, really. Let's hear what he's coming up with. She's level-headed? Yeah, she is. Isn't this case the origin of the suicide is off the table for now, Court? Is it? I haven't seen that, Court. Come now, it's fine, really. Let's hear what he's coming up... Let's hear what he's come up with. If you say so, Sebastian. Come on, show us. How did the poison gas start? Well, I was assuming from this. Oh, golly gee. Take that! Can you see this piece of evidence? How did the poison gas start? Relaxing cloth? Is it just going to be from the Normalium fit and Fatalium? Because if so, that's silly. Take that! Okay, good. <laughs> Is Sebastian her son? Uh, no, I don't think so. Take that! Take that! Surely you're not saying that this was the cause of poison gas. Hmm, it seems even you've noticed it. I haven't noticed it. Uh, red stuff, pink stuff, ladder. It was the step ladder. Duh, it really stands out. Those red tears that Larry saw were undoubtedly normalium. Uh-huh, wait a second. If those were chemicals, does that mean a fuel set off that poison gas? I don't have time to play along with him. The red stars of tears of normalium could not have triggered the poison gas by itself. That red liquid was mixed inside the case to create the poison gas. What? Just where do you see evidence that the chemicals were mixed? That can also be seen in this sketch. In this sketch. Here is the evidence. Show evidence that the two were mixed. Well, because they needed to so that they could... 
A pink liquid can be seen flowing. Oh, because white and red. White and red make pink. Red, white, red, white of blue cop. Pink. A pink liquid can be seen flowing out from under the case of the Pisces sculpture. This is proof that the two chemicals were mixed. But hold on a second. I still don't get it. How does this show that normalium and fatalium were mixed? Since we have a self-proclaimed artist here, I'll let him explain. Larry, you fancy yourself an artist, so you should know about mixing paint, right? What do you add to red to make pink? Don't take me for a fool, Edgy. I'll have you know I graduated from middle school. You add white to red to make pink. It's common knowledge. Well, technically there's rose pink, baby pink, and several others. That's enough. The chemicals were in the sculpture, yeah. Because they were released when the lid was opened, weren't they? Now do you understand, Mr. DeBest? Ugh! That's how it is. By mixing red normalium with white fatalium, you get a pink liquid. Yes, exactly. Took him long enough. Hmm. I see. I just realized that Sebi wears his jacket the same way that Bad does. It looks like Mr. DeBest finally gets it. Prosecutor Edgeworth, you have merely presented one possibility. Do we really know if the color was the result of the two chemicals mixed together? And do we really know if the paint was fucking used, Courtney? God, her arguments suck. Sorry. <laughs> Furthermore, this sketch was drawn by the suspect. Now that's a good point. But your logic was still dumb with that one. Can we prove that the red and white is the reason why there was pink? <clears throat> like, oh my god. Nicola, wait for the dead grandpa to touch the, touch up the sculpture. Yeah, that's my assumption, is that Catherine... Well, I don't, I don't think he's dead. I'd be quite surprised if he's dead, considering that I know that he shows up later. <laughs> I'm quite sure he does, right? Unless that's young him that I'm thinking of. No, I'm pretty sure that's old man him. Um, I think Catherine probably is the person who did the poisoning. Maybe, like, she knew that he was going to, like, open it up and maybe he was going to steal it or maybe he was going to do something. I don't know. I cannot put much faith into it. I just painted what I saw. How could that be a lie? Mr. Artist, I do not permit you to speak. Ugh, so cold. But that's part of your charm. We don't like you, Larry. Probably young Kim. It could be. They did say that he was alive earlier, though. That he was still alive. Huh. Breaked and poison gaps, gas and collapsed. I don't know, I think Ray said something about he's still alive. Of course, I intend to bring the truth to a light immediately. It would not be wise to jeopardize your position even further. Aren't you going to answer my question from before? How do you know that Mr. Artis did not enter the Autumn Palace? <coughs> if you cannot prove this, there is no room for you to argue any further. Hey, couldn't we find that out if we talked to the victim, Ball? The victim, Dane Gustavia, remains unconscious and in critical condition. Okay, he's in critical condition, he isn't dead yet. <coughs> oh, uh, that's right. Well then, Sebastian. Well then, Sebastian will be investigating the crime scene now. All of you, please vacate the premises. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it? If you were to take a stand in court, you'd cause a lot of trouble for the presiding judge. <laughs> he certainly has. Is there something you would like to say, Mr. Artist? Hold your horses, Miss Cool Beauty! My name is Justine Courtney. Please don't address me by such a strange title. Oh, he finally told me your name! Pleased to meet you, Justine! I don't like you. I'm Larice Donham, but you can call me Larice! Mr. Artist, please get to the point. I just remembered something I haven't had a chance to say yet. When I first got to this room, it was locked so I couldn't go in. But then that old dude just suddenly fell through the door. It would appear that the palace rooms can be locked from the inside. But, just because you say it was so, doesn't mean the door was locked. But the door was locked, because we know that it was locked. Without proof, your statement holds no value. Objection. Yeah, it was locked. Well, why not let Uncle Ray prove it for you? What? Did he take a picture? Oh my god, fucking... After all, we can confirm the room was locked, too. Right, Miles? Yes, I remember as well. 
Hmm, the Winter Palace should be... Huh? It's locked up. That's odd. They've already opened the museum. Until the gas outbreak, no one could have entered this room. Perhaps the suspect entered the room with the victim during the gas outbreak. As you can see, this man did not inhale any of the gas. If you examine his belongings, you'll find he wasn't carrying a gas mask either. Is that so? Well then, I have no choice but to agree. That was easier than I expected. Anyway, I presume this clears up any suspicions surrounding Larry. It seems Mr. The Best Logic was off once again. <laughs> Not exactly. I just didn't have enough information, that's all. Therefore, my reasoning was just before it's time. He sure has a grand way of saying that things didn't work out for him. In that case, there's one more suspect who's yet to take the stand. Mr. Artist, you're free to go. Huh? But I wanted to talk to you a little more, Justy. I don't like you. Overruled. Your cold demeanor leaves me mesmerized all the more! This other suspect is... A pharmacist by the name of Delicious Scones. Alright, so it's not Delicious, she's just suspected. Maybe because she's a pharmacist, because of the Fatalium. It would have been difficult for this artist to obtain the Fatalium from Megatoxin X. But a pharmacist may have a knowledge of how to do that. Oh. The court will now take a ten minute recess. We're not in court! Sebastian, it would be best if we brought her in quickly. Best if we brought her quickly? <laughs> Sounds good. Leave it to me. Hey, Flatfoot, keep up the investigation. Oh, got it. Don't tell me. Judge Courtney suspected her from the very beginning. So Mr. The Best Logic wasn't any help at all. Judge Courtney, just what is she thinking? To be continued? Oh my god, it's been an hour and 18 minutes already. Holy golly. I didn't realize it had been so long. Felt like 20 minutes, maybe. Golly. You what up? Da 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 she said it would only be a 10 minute recess, but they sure are taking an awfully long time. Also, I'm a bit more woken up now. Ahem, <laughs> sorry to keep you waiting. Prosecutor the Best presents Mr. Delicious Scones. Yes, yeah, see, he called, so here I am. It's I, Delicious Scones, the pharmacist who makes delicious drugs. But you can call me Miss Delicious. She's British. And you can call me Mr. The Bestest. Oi, nice to meet you, Bestie. <laughs> bestie? Oh my god, Bestie. They've gone straight to nicknames. Huh? That boy reminds me of someone. <laughs> this is Miles Edgeworth. He's Gregory's son. Yes, yeah, see? Nice to meet you, Miley. Hmm. Could you please not call me Miley? Haha, <laughs> meeting Greggy's boy. I guess it's a sign that I'm getting old. How old is this woman? Sebastian, isn't there something you'd like to ask Miss Pharmacist? Oh, right, yeah, Miss Delicious. Could you tell us the reason why you came to the gallery? Yeah, see, I came to see the Curia at Curia at K. I've been friends with her for 18 years, so I visit her qu quite often. Is it true, Miss Pharmacist, that you also assisted in the treatment of Mr. Gustavia? I guess you could say that, although I only made the antidote for the doctor. Wow, you made the antidote on the spot? Yeah, see, as long as I have the right ingredients, I can make any drug easily. Any drug? Whoa. I make methamphetamine in my spare time, for my drug business, you see. It, it comes out blue, but the customers like it all the same. The infirmary has well equipped, you see. Instead of sending him to the hospital in critical condition, we treated him right away. I did all I could do. The rest depends upon his body's ability to recover. Do you know the victim, Ms. Delicious? Yes, see, although it's been 18 years since I last saw him. I only knew that he'd become a world-famous pastry chef. Eh? Is the victim that famous? I heard on the news that he w won a competition for designing desserts. Hold up, what? Oh, snap. I... you gotta do something to live, you know? To get by her. 
That reminds me, I do remember him mentioning something about studying design in Zheng Fa. I also remember that, actually. Now, let's get down to business. Miss Pharmacist. Are you familiar with the drug, Megatoxin X? Yeah, see? It's the drug that's used to kill those things. It's mega effective. Because the effects are so potent, it's not available to the general public. What are those things you're referring to? It's a drug for vanquishing the creatures that strike fear into the heart of a lady. The ones that often infest kitchens and the like. Ah, I think I know what she's talking about. So, Miss Pharmacist, may I ask you one more thing? Do you know what happens when you mix Normalium with Fatalium? Yes, yeah, see, I know. It's even written on the warning label for Megatoxin X, as it is when mixed. When the two drugs are mixed together, a chemical reaction occurs and the gas is released. Inhaling a large amount of this gas can cause breathing difficulties, and even death. From the amount of poison gas Gusty breathed in, I think there was probably at least 500 milliliters of each chemical in the gas. She uses liters? I think that's a British thing, isn't it? I don't know, maybe not. I don't know anything about measurements, but that sounds British to me. <laughs> As expected of a pharmacist, she's very well informed. Now, Malium's an adhesive liquid that becomes hot as soon as the heat is applied. It also has a red colour and a minty fragrance. Due to its low cost, it's used everywhere. Fatalium's a white watery liquid. That's enough for now. As expected of a pharmacist. You're very knowledgeable. Yes, yeah, see, of course I am. Megatoxin X is one of the chemicals that the company I work for produces. Ah, but not just anyone has access to it. It's so potent as a poison that it couldn't be sold to the public after all. Thank you. I think that's all I need to hear. Does Judge Courtney suspect her? What is she hiding behind that smile? Hey, Apollo. Oh, Flatfoot, have you made progress in the investigation or something? Yeah, let me tell you. I'm a little bitch, sir. All the glass cases that contain the sculptures can be opened by a mechanism in the lid. Hmm, what strange cases. The temperature in the cases can be lowered down to zero degrees Fahrenheit. The inside of the PC Pisces case was set to 27 degrees Fahrenheit, so my head nearly got stuck to the ice. Good thing it didn't. So then... From the lid of the Pisces case, we detected slight traces of normalium. Eh, not bad. Huh, if the normalium was in the, a glass case at a temperature of 27 degrees Fahrenheit then, it would have been frozen to the lid. Eh, really? So, what happened? Mr. DeBest, why don't we try borrowing the pow power of Case Little Thief? I think the circumstances will be easier to understand if we use our Mr. Thief. Hmm, so you really want to help me out that much? Fine, I'm not really sure how this all works, but you, get on with it. I hate being bossed around by this guy, but to arrive at the truth, I'll do it. No, I hate the truth. Stop acting as you please. The goddess of law has no need of your power. Don't be such a stick in the mud, Courtney Pie. We have approval of the prosecutor in charge, so what's the problem? Could it be there's something the PIC doesn't want us to find out? That's none of your concern. If you insist on participating in the investigation, then let me check if you're qualified by asking you a question. What is she planning? Who set off the poison gas? If you can answer me that, I'll allow you to work with us. Well then, Miles. The person who opened the Pisces case and set off the gas. When you think about the circumstances, there's only one person it could have been. The person who opened... So not the person who... The person who set off the gas, not the person who planted the gas. That would be Gustavia, obviously. Yes, considering the circumstances, it's clear who it was. It's obvious that Gustavia is the one who set off the gas. So please, give me your answer. Who set off the poison gas? Set off, so who's the one that opened it and let it loose? Because I was going to answer Catherine, because I'd think that she was the one who placed it there, but Gustavi was the one who opened the case and let it out. There was no, no one in the Autumn Palace other than the victim, Dean Gustavia. It's hard to believe it could have been anyone else. It seems that way. Very well, I'll allow you to participate this time. However, if I feel you're a hindrance, I will have to ask you to leave. 
understood. <laughs> the grandpa, yeah. But what I don't understand is why the victim opened in that case. My guess is that this is like DGS 2 2. I'm not gonna elaborate more than that because of spoilers, but like. I think this is like a DGS 2 2 reference. Not reference, sorry, um. Kind of situation. <clears throat> so, Mr. Edgeworth, what shall I recreate? Based on the information we've got so far, let's recreate the scene before the gas. Got it. The old man opened the case and torched it. Maybe. Could be it, yeah. Ah! So don't scare me like that! So, this is the true power of Sir Thief. Do 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 da 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 dick gum shoo da 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 dick. Let's investigate the Pisces sculpture in post haste. There's frozen normally among the lid of the Pisces sculpture glass case. It's frozen so thick you can't even open the lid. On the actual glass case, the lid was heavily cracked. It was like someone had put it had it out for the P Pisces sculpture, sir. Do you have any idea how it came to be crackled like this? Cracked. Hmm, well, the damage didn't seem to have come from outside of the glass case, sir. I see. So the inside of the case was below freezing point, and the case had developed cracks. There are no signs of external damage. From this we can deduce. Below freezing? Look. Like Mr. Edgeworth's cold stare. And crack? Like Mr. Edgeworth's fur and brow. Thermal fracturing. The cold glass case was heated from the outside, causing it to crack. Hmm, but why did thermal fracturing occur here, and what caused it? I don't know, maybe the fucking blowtorch, you dumbass. Hmm, inside the thermally fractured glass case, there was frozen normalium. Oh, that face means you probably thought of something, Miles. Indeed I have. I know how Mr. Gustavi was able to open the glass case. What? How can you possibly know something I don't? I'd say the things he does know are in the mi minority. Hey, aren't you going to let me know? How did Dengar Stavi open the glass case? Well, I don't fucking know, man. This gas burner that was found in the Autumn Palace shows signs of recent use. I believe this was the cause of the thermal fracturing in the Pisces sculpture's glass case. A gas burner? Why would he use something like that? Ah, I got it. The lid was frozen shut, so we had to use the burner to melt the ice. So it's like, I'll put poison in here. And if he isn't going to be guilty, then he won't touch it. But if he is, then it'll come out and get him. And that's my thoughts on it. Indeed, that is correct. Yeah, I just had a late start. I'm still the best, you know. Late start? You didn't even understand a single thing, did you? Well, that's just because Mr. Edger's explanation was too hard to follow. Okay, why don't you update the little peep so that he can understand it? If you say so. Right, let's restart the recreation. Yo, what up? The victim, Dengus Savia, was the only one to enter the Orphan Palace. If he used the gas burner then, the normalium in the glass case would have melted. Uh huh, uh huh, and then? The melted normalium would have come into contact with the fatalium inside the case. And produced the poison gas. The moment Mr. Gustavi opened the lid, he would have begun to inhale the gas. He managed to drag himself out to the phantom patio just before his strength ran out. So he inhaled the gas when he opened the lid. It seems he finally understands. But why did Mr. Gustavi open the glass case instead of the Pisces sculpture? The victim's goal? That I do not yet know. Perhaps he had the same reason as Uncle Ray. So he thought that this was Gemini. What is important about Gemini? Right, because this was disguised to look like the Winter Palace. This was disguised to look like look like Gemini. This was disguised to look like Taurus. 
So why did he want Gemini? And then Rhea also thought that this was the Winter Palace. And Gustavia thought that this was the Winter Palace. So maybe it was changed, but like 18 years ago or 11 years ago, whenever the I7 incident happened, this was the Winter Palace. And that's why both of them thought it was the Winter Palace. I don't know. Because also winter... I don't know, because it's down here. I wonder if... I don't know. Maybe I actually came to see the Winter Palace, not the Autumn one. Yeah, no shit. What? Uncle Ray also thought that this was the Winter Palace at first. Oi! You too, Ray Ray! Actually, I thought so too. Yeah, so when the I-7 incident happened, this was the Winter Palace, but they changed it. It looks just like Icy's room from 18 years ago. 18 years ago. It's even got the exact same plants in front of the door. It seems everyone involved with the I-7 incident made the same mistake. It is imperative that we investigate the real Winter Palace immediately. I should suggest that to, that to Mr. DeBest. I get it now. Yeah, that's how it was. Huh? Did you think of something? The victim committed suicide. Oh, this is where the quote's gonna come from. He thought he would look refined if he died in an art gallery. Have you even been listening? Well, if you're as smart as me, just hearing half of the story will be enough. Sebastian, I'll explain it from the top later. Top? That means best, right? Alright, I'll leave it to you. Yes, it would indeed be best to let Judge Courtney handle them. That aside, didn't you have some information to inform everyone of? Ah, I totally forgot. What are you talking about? <laughs> we did a little checking on that pharmacist. We, meaning me, the best prosecutor's subordinate. That's not something to brag about. Sh shut up, you. Quiet down and listen. We found the court. <laughs> there it is. Suicide is, um, off the table for now. Yeah, there it is. Suicide is off the table for now. Oh, there we go. That's the court. That's because, um, in short, that pharmacist is the culprit. She set up the gas as a trap. Eat! No! It's a terrible shame, Miss Pharmacist. How could one in the profession of saving lives stoop to extinguishing them? Huh? What are you saying? I, I would never do such a thing. Mr. DeBest, do you have a basis for these accusations? <laughs> Yippee, woo! Yay, suicide is off the table, let's go! Hmm, of course, this is my basis. This is my basis. Her pharmacist license. It would permit her, it would permit her to handle megatoxin X, right? And its active ingredient, Fatalium, was one of the components of the poison gas. Exactly! That chemical's almost impossible for ordinary people to obtain. But, that pharmacist is another story altogether. It wasn't me, you've got it all wrong. And that's not all. A bottle of Mechatoxin X was found in the victim's pockets. Wait, was it? In the victim's pockets. And her fingerprints were on it. Wait, in the victim's pocket. Victim's pocket? And on the bottle, we found clear fingerprints. Yours. Eep! Eep! You and the curator took the victim to the infirmary, right? That would have given you the perfect opportunity to plant the bottle on him. Why would she plant the bottle on him if it has her fingerprints? They're the worst prosecutors I've ever seen. Listen, he's trying his best, okay? He's lovely. That's... Oh my god, she's British just like me. I have to defend her. No one else will. The Brits truly are the most... The most... Prejudiced against in America. I must defend her. No one else will. I hate England. No! You're the only pharmacist on the premises who could have handled Megatoxin X. Furthermore, as for the curator of this art gallery, you're an acquaintance of hers. You would have had access to the gallery at any time in order to prepare the poison gas trap. But please wait. 
That Megatoxin X. It was stolen. Why would you plant the evidence? Exactly. That's silly. Trying to lie your way out of this won't go well with me. Like, planting evidence would make sense if it was on a suspect. But not on the victim. That's just silly. It's true. Look, I've got the proof right here in my bag. What is she searching for? Not this. Not this either. Hmm? I remember seeing cloth like that recently. Ah, here. Please take a look at this. Hmm? It's some sort of paper. What's it say? April 1st. Theft report accepted. Stolen item, Megatoxin X. She's 100% getting framed because she's British. Exactly, yeah. This is a theft report acceptance certificate. Oh, what? Yeah, see, truth is, one week ago, my Megatoxin X was stolen. One week ago? That means you didn't have it with you today. Yeah, see, that bot you just found is probably the one that was stolen from me. I normally carry that bottle of Megatoxin X in my bag at all times, even though I often forget to keep it locked up. I'd never even think about mixing it with Normalium. But why in the world would you carry such a dangerous substance on your person? Well, you never know when those things will appear. Those... those... Those creatures that infest the kitchen, striking fear into the heart of a lady, right? Well, if you had a rolled-up newspaper, you could just squash them with one blow. Are talking about, like, spiders? Because if so, that's fair. I'd keep poison on me if it meant killing spiders. Justine, what do we do now? Well then, can we really accept this theft report? Let's ask for confirmation. That should clearly tell us whether or not she's lying. Right, well then, I'll just call and confirm it. See ya. It looks like Miss Delicious isn't the culprit. Indeed, if she really did set up the poison gas as a trap. Roaches, is it roaches? That makes sense. I don't believe she would do it in the way that incriminates her the most. So, Miles, who do you think is the culprit? Predicting the actions of the victim would require a fair amount of advanced planning. And here's only, and, blah, 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 and there's only one person here capable of that. Huh? Uncle Ray would like to know too. Who do you suspect? I suspect Catherine. The one who stole the mag talks and and prepared the room and of advance was do 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 it had to be the curator of the Zodiac Art Gallery, Ms. Catherine Hall. However, I still don't have any evidence that she is the criminal yet. It's Roger's so worse. I've only seen a cockroach before in real life, like once, I think. Cockroaches are pretty big, so that's fair. But also spiders can be bigger. I see. She is... The way he said that just now sounded like he'd been expecting it. Hmm. Good job, Miles. As expected from Uncle Ray's future apprentice. I have no intention of becoming your apprentice. And I will now announce the results of my verification. I can confirm that her theft report was indeed accepted. Therefore, it's a little too early to confirm a decision. To come to a decision. Hmm. That means your logic was completely faulty. Uh, you're wrong. My real performance is still to come. Really? And how do you plan to proceed with your investigation? Be grateful, a roach is really annoying. Actually, I don't even think I've ever seen a cockroach in real life. I, I'm thinking of a big snail that was in my house once. Yeah. I'm thinking of a big snail. Not a cockroach. <clears throat> really? And how do you plan to proceed with your investigation? That's... First, we need to speak with the curator. And after that? Uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Sebastian, Mr. Gustavia may have had business in the Winter Palace. I believe we should send an investigator there as well. Oh, that's good too. Detective Gumshoe, investigate the Winter Palace at once. Oh, got it, sir. Justine, let's go talk to the curator. Yes, let us proceed. We should go and listen to what Ms. Hall has to say as well. Yes, very. Well, that's fair. Cockroach is a little baby, aren't they? Actually, what am I talking about? I've seen lots of cockroaches before, but they were like pet cockroaches. 
My friend had some pet cockroaches that were kept in like a tub. There's a quote that is used a hell of a lot. Alright, I want you guys to listen to what the curator has to say. Have you asked the attorney? Hi Astro, welcome in. We are currently asexualing our attorney. If you see one roach, there's way more than one. Good quote, epic. Sebi, my beloved, he's so lovely. Welcome in, Astro. I hope you're having a good day. Oh my god, I'm so out of it, so... Sorry for me being sounding tired and dead, but welcome in. Mr. DeBest, weren't you gonna go and talk to her yourself? Nah, that's a job for my subordinates. All I have to do is wait for the report. I'm the best prosecutor, after all. Such arrogance. Well, this is anticlimactic. I'm gonna chill for a bit. Fair enough. <laughs> the bestie. Didn't, I think, Delisha literally called him, like, bestie. <laughs> huh? What's that in the fountain? Ah! Uh, uh! What? Oh, what the fuck? What? There is a dead body in the fountain! Actually, is that the picture that I saw on Astro's? That might be the picture that I saw. Yeah, that one looks a lot more familiar. I think this one was the one that was on Astro's thumbnail. What is the meaning of this? Came at the right time. Silence, everyone. Forensics, identify this body at once. Uh, it's terrible, though. Please be quiet, detective. They are sculptures in the Mobile Winter Palace. Have they melted? What, the, they're gone? They've all melted, bro. They fucking melted. What? Uh. What? Uh. What? What? This is just like me for real. What's going on here? There are two victims now. This is all just like 18 years ago. Once again, the ice sculptures have melted. <laughs> that's a that's a a great pinned message. Just just absolute keyboard spam. <laughs> again. And everyone related to the incident, 18 years ago, is gathered here now. Well, not everyone. Von Karma and Gregory are kind of fucking dead, aren't they, you fucking dumbass? This is no mere coincidence. Don't you think so, Miles? Yes. The key to finding the truth of this case lies in the IS-7 incident. Let's go look it over again. This is what I believe. <laughs> That's right. Uncle Ray thinks so, too. Looks like it's time once again. For Uncle Ray to tell you about the IS-7 incident. Wait, is he literally? Are we going back to Gregory? Oh my god, we are! Wait! How long was that part? I swear that we're only like an hour... We're about an hour... Was this... This was a really short part, that one. That was only like 14 minutes. 40 minutes. Damn. That was a, sh that was a short part. Anyways, Gregory time! Uh, let me also save state as well. Oh my god, I want- please, just show me Manny Von Karma coming out of the candy castle again. Please, I want to see it. Even though I know that the candy castle isn't real candy anymore, I, I want to see it. The IS-7 incident, 18 years ago, Gregory Edgeworth's last case. Isaac Dover was murdered at the venue of a dessert contest and his body was discovered in the chocolate treasure chest made by Jeff Master. Rep Isaac Dover, yeah, this is so sad. <laughs> yes, we're going back to Greg the Accountant and Jeff the Master Chef. Jeff is back, let's go! The victim died from blood loss after being struck in the head with the rocks out lamp. The murder weapon was found hidden inside Delicious Candy Castle. <laughs> it's so... the over. This is so Jova. <laughs> then, in the victim's room, when no, where no one had searched yet. All of Dover's sherbet sculptures had melted. Eighteen years ago! Oh my god, we're Gregorying up our Edworth again. Jover is Jeff Master X Isaac Dover ship name. That's fucking awesome. It's so Jova. <laughs> The sculptures in Mr. Dover's room have melted. Due to that, Prosecutor Von Karma immediately drove us away from the scene. How are we gonna investigate now? Yes, Young Ray is back! And what's with that defense attorney's out? Von Karma's methods are deplorable! Well, 
an investigating the crime scene is supposed to be. The police's job, after all. But you gotta admit, Von Karma's methods are way out of line. Defense attorneys and the police should work together to discover the truth. Young Grant is back, thank god. He's not gonna be creepy anymore, let's go! Raymond, you must realize that not everyone shares the same views as us. They want to expose the truth for the sake of justice, or simply accept things as they are up here. Everyone has their own view on what is right and what is wrong. Even if that means convicting an innocent, innocent man? Both ourselves and the police are only human, and as humans, we all make mistakes. It is for this reason that we defense attorneys exist. So that those who are alone and helpless can have an ally on their side. An ally on their side? If we cannot investigate, shouldn't we just find some other way to help? I'm sorry, Mr. Edgeworth. I still have much to learn. Hmm, you're still young, so you'll have many opportunities to learn. Oh my god, we're American again. Let's go! Gregory's gonna go back to bullying Delicia being British. Yeah, fucking British, huh? Right, I'll do my best. Gregory hates British people. And then Von Karma turned his son British. It's tragic. Muncher Edgeworth and Muncher Shields, would you like to take a brief respite? Oh no, she's gonna sing again, I have to drink. I know it's not much, but please eat these. Wow, thank you. Chocolates. Dur, 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 dur. Let's eat. I appreciate getting some sugar into my system. But these were a little too sweet. <laughs> caw, caw, eagle. That's awesome. America. Uh, why, why, why speak British? We speak American these parts. And it's a little misshapen, too. <clears throat> I'm terribly sorry. Does it not suit your tastes? Not at all. It's delicious, sweet. It's delicious. Oh, 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 Thank you very much. But making sweets isn't really my forte. Huh? You made this chocolate, Kate? Yes, chocolate is Muncher Master's favorite food. Preparing his favorite food is also part of my job. But I'm still not that good at it, so I need him to instruct me. I envy Master Jeff. He gets Sweet Kate's handmade sweets whenever he wants. Did you say something? Uh, no, it's nothing. I shall give you more sweets if you want. Von Kama converted his son into British. No! <laughs> I don't know, man, I'm just so funny today. You saw so ah. Oh my god, the sweets had poison in them that made them have a silver allergy thing. Oh gee, oh golly hag. No, not a silver allergy! I'm gonna hear the bell and I'm gonna pass out. This is so sweet, in more ways than one. Miss Hall, you seem very dedicated to your work. Without my work, I wouldn't even have the right to be here. What do you mean? When I was a child, I was abandoned. Muncher Master took me in. <gasps> oh my god, Master Jeff is based? One snowy Christmas Eve, I was left on the doorstep of his mansion, and I heard the words, Almost Christmas means it isn't Christmas. I owe Muncher Master my life. He became like a father to me. Oh my god, we love fan family in this attorney. It's... We, we should have seen this coming. And so, to repay his kindness. That, well, this isn't even fan family, this is just adoption. <laughs> and then a gunshot went out, and then someone died in the elevator. Oh my god. I want to continue working for him. Kate, you're incredible. I have lived a long life. Yet that brought tears even to my eyes. Today, Christmas Eve has finally arrived once more. But it looks like I won't be able to give him the present I prepared. Oh, I would do anything if it meant saving Muncher Master. Jeff is the best chef. He is so best. We love Jeff. If there's any way I could be of service to you, please ask. Yes, I appreciate that. Why do I sound a bit like Gregson? Well then, do you happen to know anything about the victim, Isaac Dover? I don't really know much about it, Monsieur Dover, but... I have a photo of the deserts he made for the contest. Finals. <laughs> hey Catherine, do you want to see my badge? Hey Catherine, did you know that I'm a defense attorney? Hmm, and this is certainly a splendid, pe splendid piece of work. Yes, with that exquisite beauty, it's truly a work of art. It's crafted so intricately that you almost forget it's made out of sherbet. It seems Muncher Master was also fond of Muncher Dover's work as well. Wow, these are the Taurus and Gemini constellations. 
You know a lot about constellations, Raymond. Of course, there's so much romance in the constellations. For example, take the cub, L Lyre, and Arrowhead held by Gemini there. These come from... Huh? There are no strings on this lyre. Hmm, did Mr. Dover make a mistake in his sculpting? It's hard to think he would make a mistake like that. Huh? I thought you said you didn't know that much about him. Uh, 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 I, I just sort of felt that way somehow. I'm sure that will give you happiness in during these horrible ti times. The horrible times of not being murdered, but the horrible times is that it's Christmas. <laughs> I think I didn't read that but well. It was just Gregory thinking to himself. Miss Hall, did you take this photograph yourself? Yes, I took it with this instant camera. It developed pictures instantly. It's one of my greatest treasures. Wow, I'd love to see it in action. <laughs> well then, why don't we take a picture right now? Yay, let's have our picture taken, Mr. Dirgeworth. Sure, I don't mind. I'm confident in my hairstyle today. <laughs> That's good for you, Gregory. Gregory, how dare you think it's against the law? You're not allowed to think in these parts. Mia defense attorney. All right, I'm taking the picture. Say cheese. This is where the this is where the picture comes from. Here, it's developed. A present for me to you, Monsieur Shields. Wow, thank you so much. That's such a great camera. It's the only camera in this mansion. Unfortunately, its convenience comes at a cost. There are no negatives. No negatives? Huh? Is this the same camera Mr. Master used during the contest? Yes, you're well informed. While he made his desserts, Munch and Master photographed his work. After that, he took photos of all the other competitors' works. Was he taking photos at the, ta at the time the body was found? The body was discovered during the judging, was it not? Munch and Master intended to take photos of everyone's rooms, but... Gonna have to dip my battery's dying. <laughs> we'll have a good time with charging up. <laughs> After he photographed Gusta Gustavia's room, he ran out of film. Muncho Master asked me to change the film in the camera. It seemed the film he prepared in advance wasn't enough. There wasn't enough film? It seems the number of photos he took didn't match up with the amount of film remaining. Well, he told me himself it might have been just a mistake, though. Was it really just a mistake? I retrieved more film from the main building and went back to the fountain patio. <laughs> Have a good time, uh, I guess. <laughs> and it was then that I heard the sound of something breaking in Muncho Master's room. It was the opening to our to our title song. It was just a really loud crash all of a sudden. Muncho Master, are you in here? E. And that's when I found Muncher Dover's body in Muncher Master's room. It was so terrible, I was really shaken up. Before I spoke to anyone else, I called the police. This camera, I've kept it with me ever since. The crash in the title song was actually Isaac Dover dying. Exactly, that's what it was. We, we finally have the answer. I see. If it's all right with you, would you mind lending me your camera and the photo? Sure, I don't mind at all. Here you go. Thank you very much. I am really turning into Gregson, aren't I? Yeah. I want it that way. Tell me why. Oh, yo, what up? Detective Bad, Miss Delicious, is the investigation over already? He said he had no more use for me and kicked me out. Uh, he's, uh, she, she's British, she's British, ha, <laughs> loser, ha, <laughs> ha, British, British, ha. <laughs> Hmm. Manny, that meanie. What a rude thing to say. <laughs> She's British. It was probably to ensure that you wouldn't need any more of the crime scene. So, Detective Bad, did you get kicked out too? It seems Von Karma thought I was getting in the way. He won't let me investigate. Why would he prohibit his own detective from investigating? He's gonna forge something. He's forging shit. But we know just about all there is to know about the crime scene. Right now, he is talking to Gustavia in Do Dover's room. Why does he need to speak to Mr. Gustavia? We heard from Hall that Gustavia is seen entering the victim's room. I can see Kam Kami's legs. Is he? Is he? Is he there, Kami? 
Case closed, it was actually Catherine Hall's screeching and crashing voice that broke the bar. We finally, we, we finally found out. Mr. Gustavia. He was, he was. Where, where, where's Manny? Yes, I saw him entering Dover's room, and it seemed like he was trying to avoid being seen. Although I have no idea what he did in there. He is currently under suspicion for melting Dover Sherbert. Guess what I did, Mr. Gustavia, enter that room. I also have a photo of Dover's room here. If you need it, I'll let you take a look at it. Eh? What? Well, why would you do that for us? Hmm. <laughs> you still don't get it, kid. I'm saying I want to help you guys in order to discover the truth of this case. Detective Bad. Is... is that all right, Detective Bad? Won't Von Karma chew you out again? I... have no intention of becoming Von Karma's lapdog. If he won't let me investigate, I'll just do as I like. Getting tied up in stupid rules will only blind you to the truth. It's because you went into a dialogue box that you can't see him anymore. Heck! Isn't that right, Attorney Edgeworth? Of course, Detective Bad. I thank you. This is amazing, Mr. Edgeworth. Now we've got Detective Bad on our side. I don't really get what's going on, but I'm glad you boys are all friends now. I'm grateful that he'll lend us his strength. Well then, can we see the photo now? Right. Actually, I was lying about that. I just wanted to feel like I was involved. This is the current state of Dover's room. Wow, the sherbet's completely melted. The room is drenched on a light blue liquid. We should compare this with the photo Miss Hall took. Did the sherbet melt because the power code was pulled out? Yeah, because it was pulled. All of the refrigerated glass cases lost power completely. Looks like all the power codes were connected to one socket. Do you have any idea when this cord was pulled out? No, it's still under investigation at the moment. What a waste of beautiful sherbet. Honestly, had I known it would end up like this, I would have eaten even more of the stuff. Did Mr. Dover's sherbet taste that good? Oh, yes, yeah, see, his sherbet was most delicious. Really? Oh, I wish I could have eaten some too. But there was one piece that was so salty I couldn't eat it. Salty? It's right here in this photo. It was part of that liar. All right, there's something sus about the liar. That's the liar from the Gemini constellation. Ah, you snuck a bite from the liar. That's why the strings are missing. Why, I could never have eaten that much. It was way too salty. I wish I was most delicious, but the liar part was very salty. Of course, it's the one word that I don't know how to pronounce. One part of the sherbet tasted different, but it's rather curious. The liar was a liar. <laughs> Get it? It's a rather funny joke. Sorry, I'm not alive yet. I mean, I am. Sorry, I'm eight. <laughs> Did someone other than her also take a bite out of it? Did you notice anything else? Now that you mention it, I see Sherbet sculptures had these strange markings on them. They had two letters carved into them. Wait a minute. There! Oh, it's F. It looks something like this. That is F. An alphabet signature. Nature. It can't be. Pierre or cat. Now I get why it's fur. But why is this one backwards? <laughs> I don't get it. So it's Pierre or cat. I knew it. I just knew that Muncher Dover made this liar. He isn't one to make mistakes in his sculptures after all. Miss Hall. It's been troubling for me for a while, but. Do you know something about Mr. Dover? Uh-huh. Why would I know something about Muncher Dover? That's how stamps work. Oh, it is. Bang a kiss for real. Welcome in K. Faraday. Uh, I don't think you've been born yet at this juncture, considering this is 18 years ago, but... <laughs> Welcome in, nonetheless. If you want something to be correctly printed out, it has to be backwards. Okay, well, fair enough, yeah. Stamps do work like that. You seem quite attached to Mr. Dover's handiwork. That's just because his sculptures are such great works of art. No, I believe that his works are very special to you in particular. How do you know that? There's a piece of evidence that we believe belongs to Mr. Dover. And it happens to share a common feature with another piece of evidence. Uh, but please show me. I have no idea what you're talking about. Which two pieces of evidence share something in common? 
two pieces of evidence that point to Mr. Dover. I think it's just the ring and the photo. I am a moron. I pressed Lord. Oh my. I feel stupid as fuck. Is there a way to speed up? <laughs> oh no. Oh golly. That there's a way to speed up. Oh my god, I've had that happen before. That's so painful. Luckily we went that far back, but that's still annoying. It'd be preferable if we could. I could also I could click on config at the top. Mm-hmm. Then Hotkey configuration there. On the left side near the bottom, there's a fast forward option that you can change to any key you want. Fast forward toggle. Let's just make that fucking minus. Is that. No, that's already something. Let's make it F. F good. F is the fast forward toggle. Bam. How, how fast can we go? Four. Alright, let's just, let's, <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Yeah, let's just, let's just sit here for a while. So, how, how's everyone's day going, huh? I hope everyone's having a, having a lovely time. I can also lower frame skip to zero. That should also make it faster. I think. The frames will be worse, but that doesn't really matter right now, does it? Hmm. <laughs> Good, doing well. Nice. That's lovely. Dun, dun, dur, 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 dur. How are we gonna investigate now? Gregory, you fucking idiot! Gregory! <laughs> I kicked a banger down and I think so that's awesome. God, I love food. I had pizza just before stream. <laughs> I've been feeling very weak recently. Just cause. I don't know why, no reason in particular. But oh my god, food is so good. <laughs> Oh, uh, I can't believe I did that. I'm silly. I'm a silly goose. Gregory, you're a little bitch. This is me, Tyrell Bad. I'm not here yet, but- Oh yeah, we can see Von Karma's legs. This is awesome. I'm so happy. How far in were you? We went that far in. I don't think we even- Presented evidence or anything yet. Actually, pretty far in. Oh, golly. <laughs> can I just press X? I can just press X, can't I? Elon Musk moment. <laughs> oh, I'm Sally. Doom, 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 doom. Because it was a little after... Actually, were we like 20 minutes in? Because it was 1.40 when the last part ended. We might have been like 20 minutes in, in which case... Oh golly, it'll take probably about... I don't know... A little less than 10 minutes, maybe? Not 10 minutes, a little less than like... I don't know, I'm bad with maths. It's sped up four times, and we're not reading. Who knows? Five minutes. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just spitballing here. Oh yeah, she has a tragic backstory. I'm very sorry, Kate. I don't give a shit right at this moment. It's very sad, but we have better things to do. We've, we're already... What is the spinny backer part? Oh, that's just... My, my sussy backer part glitched because I've already played... I haven't played this game. I watched a playthrough of this game. Uh, and so I don't have any sussy backers because I already know all of the people, all of the killers. So it's just spinny backers. Okay, this is very sweet, but I don't care at the moment. I'm sorry. <laughs> Nothing against you. It's just... I, I already know, Kate. Come on. Gregory's just like, we can speed this up. Come on. I, I already know. Come on. Shut up. I can't believe I pressed Lord. 
Oh, I'm so silly. This is Captain Hulphobia. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I had to do it to her. Oh, I can't believe I did this. I'm so silly. Anyway, since it's going to be revealed, uh, Isaac Dover is the same as Pierre Cat. I found that out, um, completely accidentally. I might have already remembered. I, I don't think I would have remembered, but I might have. This is fucking funny music, yeah. This sped up is really good. Uh, when I was looking up Jacques Portman, Jacques Portman, because I obviously needed a sprite for the Sussy Barker part when I was doing Investigations 1. I was looking up him, but I couldn't remember his name, and I thought his name was Pierre Ho Cat. So I looked up Pierre Ho Cat. Um, I looked up Pierre Ho Cat and Isaac Dover's wiki page showed up. So I already know that Isaac Dover is Pierre Ho Cat. I don't know if I would have remembered that if I hadn't accidentally stumbled across it, but yeah, I already knew from the start of this case. <laughs> I can't believe I did this, oh my goodness. I'm silly. Well... VOD watchers skip. <laughs> yes, yes, I know, Muncha Master, he has camera. He used camera and there was not enough film. Remember the funny, the funny, the funny clip? Remember? With the crash. Ah, uh, this is so sad. Thanks for the camera. Thanks for the sherbet. Where's Von Kama? There he is! Look at him! <laughs> there were his legs! Oh my god. He was there. Holy heck. Manny, that meanie! And he's just there like, what the fuck? Delicia! I, I, I escorted you out! What the fuck? I'm over here! I'm literally sat right here. Seems Von Karma thought I was getting in the way. Yeah, you were getting in the way, you bitch. I'm right here, you fucker. <laughs> His legs. <laughs> well, we know just about all there is to know about the crime scene, because Von Karma stood right there. He told us all about it. He's really nice. He's a really nice guy once you get to know him. Trust me. He's just really cool. Du, 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 du. It's not too far away from here, I don't think. But oh golly gee, Kazma, I'm silly. I'm a silly belly, aren't I? He's currently under suspicion because he's a fucking bitch. Sorry, that was rude. That was pretty rude, wasn't it? Ah, I'm a little fucker. Sorry. <laughs> I keep on being mean. Wait, there is one thing that I wanted to chat. Da -da 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 -da. What is it? Do I not have it? I swear that there was a piece of paper telling us who's in which room. Oh my god, when- That's awesome. That goes- that goes hard. <laughs> he doesn't keep being mean, he keeps being bad. But I'm- that's so funny. Astro, you're so funny. You're gonna win Funniest Person of the Year award for being funny. And hilarious. If you won't let me investigate, I'll just do as I like. Getting tired up in stupid rules, I'm the only blind to the truth. Whoa, what the fuck? I'm right here! Stop being mean to me! Stop being bad to me! <clears throat> Can't believe how silly I am. Oh my god. I'm... I could probably have loaded up my auto-clicker so that this would be going faster and I wouldn't have to be spamming X, but at this point I'm too far gone. I'll be able to do other stuff. But no. Nope. Alright, it's around here. That did take at least three minutes, I don't know. About halfway through I looked and it was 2 or 7, now it's 2.10.
You British person, how could you? You British person. I hate the British, they're fucking... British. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so silly. This... It was pretty delicious. Yummy yummy. My neck hurts as well. Fuh, 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 fuh. Spectre, fuh. It can't be. Fuh. Alright, it's right around here. Save! Oh, okay. I'm a funny silly man, you sure are. I'm quite attached to Mr. Dobie's handwork. That's just because the sculpture is a great work of art. No, I believe that his works are very special to you, in particular. How do you know that? There's a piece of evidence that we believe belonged to Mr. Dover. And it happens to share a common feature with another piece of evidence. Uh, please show me. I have no idea what you're talking about. Which two pieces of evidence share something in common? Okay. I'm getting... I'm getting... I'm getting deja vu, but... I did it. Uh. <laughs> Take that! I forgot about his voice. And all the second piece of evidence which shares a common feature is... I think that it's... What was just presented, which would be this picture. <laughs> Take that! The connection between the la la la! Well, never mind. I thought it was because of the fur and the fur. Fuck. Made by Piaho Cat. We have to examine this to go, oh hey, it says PH. I wonder what this could mean. And then it's gonna be like, oh, well, it means Piaho Cat, even though we already know that it's. It's an... okay. There's an engraving on the bottom, it says PH! It's the initials of the creator, Pierre Hoquet. And as Hall and Mr. Master seem to be big fans of this sculptor's work. Initials, huh? If they were mine, it'd be RS! Why don't you try carving your initials on your own belongings? Alright, we didn't have to examine it, but fair enough. Cannot believe Prozzy the voice of Gregory in this? Yeah, Sam. That's actually like a wild realization, like, oh damn. <laughs> Take that! Now the second piece of evidence which shares a common feature is... Take that! Delicious saw two letters of the alphabet. They were probably used as Mr. Dover's signature, just as an artist would sign their name on their works. Right. Oi, I remember now. I see Sherbet sculptures that have fuh carved into them. I'm sure of it. Fuh. Those aren't Isaac Dover's initials, though. What the fuck? What the fuck? No, but we found this seal at the scene of the crime. It had probably fallen out of the late Mr. Dover's pocket. If you'd press this seal into something, it would mark the letters PH. Oh, that's not a ring. It's a... I get it. That's backwards. So that these all come out looking like F. Oh my god, I get it. That's a stamp. Also, the very same F symbol is engraved into the teapot. The same symbol. This teapot was made by the sculptor Pierre Hoquet. Yeah, listen, I didn't know because I thought it was a ring because someone said it was a ring. Someone said it was a ring. This teapot was made by the sculptor Pierre Hoquet. In other words, this F is the signature of Pierre Hoquet. Miss Hall, you know about the signature all too well, don't you? Yes, Monsieur Hoquet's works always bear that signature. Since he never shows himself in public, his signature is used to identify his works. No way! Are you saying Pierre Hoquet is? It seems Detective Bat has also realized Isaac Dover's true identity. To Ms. Hall, Ms. Dover was no ordinary pastry, pastry chef. He was a pastry chef. A very white chef. And that's because his true identity was... A fan of sculptures, he just loved them. <laughs> Where I have to, I have to click pastry chef, I have to click pastry chef, I have to, I'm sorry, I have to. You know that I have to. Mr. Dover's identity was a pastry chef. 
Of course. I would have made that delicious sherbet otherwise. But that doesn't solve the mystery of the seal at all. Mr. Redworth, that just created a ton of contradictions. Fuck. He's a sculptor. Oh, I just got that a pain in that same side that I got a pain in yesterday. That's right. Mr. Dover's true identity was the sculptor Pierre Hoquette. What? Mr. Dover was a sculptor? Things like signatures can be faked if you have the original designs. Can you really use that as proof that he was a sculptor? No, but what's important here is that Miss Hall thought he was. As for proving his real identity, I'll leave that to the police. Hmm. I get it. I'll have the boys check up on it. Fuck. As I expected from you, Gregory Edgeworth. Ew, you knew Mr. Dover's real identity all along, didn't you? Yes. When I discovered the body, I noticed the seal. I knew from that moment he was Pierre Hoquette, the man I greatly admired. Thinking that this would be his final posthumous work, I just couldn't sit still. So, that's why you aren't at Dover's room. Uh-huh. Well, what did you say? When exactly did you take this photo of Dover's room? Th that was... Perhaps this was taken during the judging. Objection. That's strange. I thought you said the camera ran out of film during the judging. Before Mr. Master entered Dover's room, you were the one in possession of the camera. Wasn't that why you were able to take the photo when you discovered the body? Yes, that's right. The only photos you took with the new film were of Dover's room and the body. If that's the case, a new contradiction comes to light. Uh, another one? The piece of evidence that contradicts the two photos Miss Holt took is... Uh... The camera being out of film? Take that! That is my instant camera. You've already handed the photos of Dover's room and the body to myself and the police. That reminds me, didn't you also take a photo of me and Mr. Edward just now? The film used in this camera can take up to 12, 20 photos. However, this camera only has three photos left. Which leaves 14 photos unaccounted for. Exactly what were they used to photograph? Uh... Please show us all the photos you took. We'll be able to discern your actions from these photos. I'm so sorry. I told a terrible lie. Catherine. Don't tell me. All of the remaining shots are of Isaac Dover's room. My deepest apologies. It seems they're all shots of the ice sculptures from various angles. So when these were taken, the sculptures had not melted yet. That's handy, actually. But that means... The one who caused them to melt was you. Wait, was she? Oh, fuck, never mind. You fucked up. <laughs> yes. I'm positive that I melted them. You're positive? I am an aficionado of the sculptor Pierre Hoquette, who is actually Monsieur Dover. Before the authorities could defile his final masterpieces during their investigation, I thought I should preserve them through photographs, and I entered his room. In that case, why did all the ice melt? It's probably... Because, as I was taking the pictures, I became entranced with his works. And it seems that my foot accidentally got caught in the power cord, unplugging it. No, not Jeff. Jeff's dad, okay? Jeff Master is dad. Accidentally, you say? I did not notice the power cord at the time. I would never have imagined that I would be the cause of those sculptures melting. Could the truth really be that simple? However, I cannot say with certainty that she is lying. You leave Jeff the Chef, he's dead. I don't know what to say. He's already... he's dead. I'm so sorry to have caused you all so much trouble. As long as you're telling the truth, there's no need to apologize. That's right. Don't sweat it, Kate. Thank you very much. Edgeworth. Here, take this picture. Do what you want with it. Thanks, baddie daddy. Oh fuck, he's- what the f- Oh, that's not Von Karma. Astra, you fool. That wasn't Von Karma. 
You silly, silly fish. You meddling fools still haven't given up yet, have you? No matter how long do you wait, I have no intention of allowing a defense attorney to investigate. I lied to you, hee <laughs> hee. No matter. You're British, bitch. If we can investigate, we'll find the truth through some other method. I'm gaslighting as per usual. Yeah. You're always gaslighting. I got my throat hurt. <clears throat> always ready with a comeback. Well, do try your best. You're British. Um, excuse me, Monsieur Von Karma. The truth is, it was I who melted the ice sculptures in Monsieur Dover's room. What? What's the meaning of this, you clod? Also, I love how Von Karma's sweating animation happens every time that he's, like, slightly inconvenienced. Whereas, in, uh, in the, t in Turn About Goodbyes, I'm pretty sure this, this animation, by the way, he's not clutching his shoulder in this one, that's cool. Uh, in, in this animation, or in this, because in, in Turn About Goodbyes, he, he only did it once it was revealed that he was the killer. Hi, Chloe, welcome in, Manfred's so crazy, he so is. Like, I'm pretty sure that the sweating animation only happened when it was revealed that he was the killer of Gregory, right? Whereas here it just happens at every minor inconvenience. I'm truly sorry, but you and Munchen Gustavia. Hmm, do not be concerned about me. I'm R Russian, I think. Sir Von Karma has already recognized that I have no hand in this act. That reminds me. Why did you enter Mr. Dover's room, Mr. Gustavia? Oh, uh, well that was because... Don't say that! Silence, Ignoramus! You're not to give that attorney the tiniest hint of information. Catherine Hall, you're coming with me. You're under suspicion of being complicit in the murder. Uh, no! I shall be interrogating you personally. You best prepare yourself. Very well. <laughs> Ignoramus? Oh my god, oh my god, he said Ignoramus? He is British. Please wait. I still have some questions I want to ask her. I do not care for your sorry plight in the least. Uh. Bad, Gustavia. And while I'm at it, you as well, scones. I have plenty of questions for you all. Hmm. Understood. Hi, while well, I'm at it, he says. The nerve. Well, we're all alone now. He just took everyone away with him. Yes, we don't have any friends anymore. Even if we stay here, I don't think we'll be able to investigate any further today. Let's take our leave for now. It's already grown rather late. I hope the snow's stopped by now. Sounds good. I'm starving anyway. Hmm, let's stop somewhere for hamburgers then. <laughs> you can't fight an empty stomach after all. He's some Maya. We'll need to report back to Mr. Master with our findings first thing tomorrow. To be, to be continued. I accidentally pressed F. <laughs> what the fuck? There. Go down again. How do I stop fast forward? Now that's just fast forward toggle. I'm confused. Is it on or not? I cannot even tell. Huh? What are you doing here, Kate? Have you gotten to the present day part yet? Yeah, we got to the present day, and then this is the past again. So this... Damn, wait! It's only 2 hours 24 minutes and this is already... Am I crazy? So this is the uh, fourth, no, sixth part, right? We did the first two last stream, then we did the two present day parts earlier this stream, and then this is, then there were two past parts, this one is one of them, and then there's only three more parts. It's only been two hours, 25 minutes. Could we actually finish this today? I doubt it. That's actually wild, it's only, am I crazy? It's only been two hours, 25 minutes. Oh, wow, the present day parts were short. Yeah, they were really short. One of them was only like 40 minutes, I think. Ah, Muncha Shields and Muncha Edward. Allow me to apologize once again for all the trouble I caused you yesterday. Miss Hall looks a bit tired. Has Von Karma finished interrogating you? Yes, 
Aside from what happens at the ice sculptures, I was not at fault for anything else. Are you also here to meet with Master Jeff, Kate? Yes. I am worried about how he's holding up. You want to... Why am I... Oh no, I'm in prison! Detective Bad? Why are you here? I just happen to be here. I'll be heading to the crime scene soon. I don't think this is a place that people happen to be, though. Oh, fuck. Hello? I remember this hat and right from shop, but look at him. Oh my god. Ugh. Master Jeff, what happened to you? Oh no, Muncha Master. Why do you look so poor? Also, does I was lying. He's not dead. <laughs> Free my man's bed did nothing wrong. <laughs> I didn't get much sleep last night. The tribulation known as questioning was rather harsh. I'm just... A little exhausted. They didn't let you sleep. Even for an interrogation? That's going too far. Detective Bad? The detective in charge of the initial investigation was also in charge of the interrogation. I don't like Von Karma's methods, but this was all I could do. He was the one who brought me here. It seems I was supposed to be interrogated for a little bit longer, though. Hmm. It seems that Detective Bad is looking out for Mr. Master in his own way. So, shall we inform Mr. Master about what happened yesterday, Raymond? Yes, sir. I get all my memos right here. Mr. Master, we would like to inform you about yesterday's investigation. Yes. Thank you very much. Please go ahead. Master Jeff, it's almost like your spirit's gone. Uh... My sugar levels are low, so I might not seem like my usual energetic self. Muncher Master! Do we have anything that can give his spirit and his glucose a boost? The sweets! <gasps> Catherine's sweets! Catherine's sweets! Oh, those chocolates! Are you giving them to me? Ah, uh, those chocolates, sir! If possible, I would like to give them to you immediately. But it's against the rules to give anything to the suspect in the, det the detention center. Your voice for Jeff Monster Master ca ca that kind of reminds me of Anton from Diabolical Box Vampire Man. I feel like I remember that guy kind of, but not really. I see. Regrettably, if those are the rules, then there's nothing we can do about it. Ah, fuck the rules. I don't care if you're a killer. Hand him the chocolates. Come on. Are you sure there's no way we can give them to him? Detective Dad. Looks like he noticed what we're trying to ask of him. Tch. I'll inspect the chocolates. And if there are no problems, I'll think about it. Detective Bad. Thank you very much. Alright. I knew we could count on you, Detective Bad. I'm truly in your debt. Wait right here. Bitch. Sorry, I do that a lot where I just swear for no reason. Take it. Thank you very much. Not a word to anyone else. It would cause problems for me later. Yes, of course. I apologize for making you go through so much trouble. Now I shall partake in eating these delicious delights at once. I'm sorry for asking you to do something so dangerous, Detective Bad. Hmm. I only did what I wanted to do. <laughs> Why can't you just be honest here, Detective? Oh, how sweet. It's like I've come back to life. Ha <laughs> ha, did Kate make these chocolates? Yes, sir, I did. How does it taste? Oh, he's gonna sing. Milts in your mouth. Not in your hand, sweet chocolates melting in my mouth, so sweet, so divine. Thank you for the tasty treat. Oh, they're a bit misshapen, but so sweet and delicious. Thank you. I'm so glad that you enjoyed it. Fuck, she's also gonna sing. <clears throat> Nope. And above all, it helped you regain your spirit. Thank you for your concern. 
and the food they served here has been absolutely tasteless. And combined with the lack of sleep, I was thoroughly exhausted. Is the food here that bad? You saw beef and stew, your average prison fare. That's odd. I really could not taste anything. Hmm? Whatever. I'm about to head out to the crime scene. Please wait, Detective Bad. Can you give us any new information? Yeah, I think I can. We've identified the victim. Just as you said, Isaac Dover was a sculptor who worked in France. It seems he went by the name Pierre Hoquet. Isaac Dover was Pierre Hoquet. How could that be? Monsieur Pierre Hoquet. So Pierre Hoquet wasn't actually French, huh? Which is likely why he never showed himself in public while he worked under that name. Fuh, yep, fuh. The Zodiac sculptures, they were his masterpieces it seems. Gregory, Gregory. Pierre Hoquet, yep, fuh. It, it, it is fuh. Well done, Chloe. You've cracked the case, you have. Although, they will remain forever unfinished. Unfinished? Well, yeah, duh. He's fucking dead, you fucking dumbass. Even though they were his masterpieces? Who the fuck do you think's gonna finish them, you dumbass? It seems he worked on them. By season. Once he finished, the remaining Winter Constellations, his work will be done. Huh? The Winter Constellations are... Taurus and Gemini, right? I'm a Gemini. I'm so smart, it's so fur. It is fur, well then. It also could just be pH levels, he might just be a big kind of alkaline water in that. So those ice sculptures were his final pieces. Why is why is Gemini such a big part of this chaos? I'm a Gemini, I think. Gemini dates. May 21st, about June 21st. There it is. Yep. Um. It is heartbreaking that they melted. I cannot apologize enough. Ah, uh, no. I wasn't blaming you or anything. Also, Dover was infamous, infamous for being greedy. He would charge hundreds of thousands just to make a single sculpture. I'm a Libra, but I'm not sure what that means. I don't think Libra has been mentioned a single time in this case. Chloe, you're irrelevant. <laughs> I'm no astrology person, yeah. L let me look up Gemini meaning as well. Gemini meaning. What am I? A person whose sign is Gemini. Yeah, thanks. G, G, G golly. Thanks a lot. What is a Gemini personality? Playful and intellectually curious. Oh, you know. You know, that's, that's me. Gemini is constantly juggling a variety of passions, hobbies, careers, and friend groups. That is not true in the slightest. I... This is my hobby, right here. This is my one single hobby. They're social butterflies. What the fuck do you mean? These quick-witted twins can talk to anyone about anything. Find them buzzing between happy hours, dinner parties, and dance floors. Guys, I think I'm not a Gemini. What the fuck? <laughs> Geminis, Geminis are two-faced usually. Well, that's cool because I love like two-faced culprits, so that's awesome. <coughs> that's awesome. Dingo Stevie will be a Gemini. He so would. I'm a Libra too? Oh my god. There's two Libras in my chat? Ew. But yeah, obviously, your birthdays are similar days. Why did that not click for me? <laughs> it would charge hundreds of thousands just to make a single sculpture. Why are you talking about fucking... Why are you talking about astrology science right now, Gregory and Raymond? Gregory. <laughs> it seemed to... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it seemed like you always had money troubles. The... Well then... Why are you calling him selfish, you hacker? He's just hes just trying to make a living, you bitch. Geminis are allegedly usually really good friends with Libras, if I remember right. Oh my god. We're all besties? That's epic. The murder might be related to that, but it's still under investigation. So he had money problems even though he was a famous artist? So many of my friends are Geminis? Well, damn, that's epic. Do you know why he entered a desert contest? Desert contest, not desert contest. He did not make a sand dune. Gregory on the land about astrology for Ray. He's so dead. Oh my god, yeah. Not yet. He kept it a secret. 
even from his family. I see. It's time. I'm bringing in the replacement guard. I can't hang around here any longer than I have. Yes, I understand. Let's meet again later. I can't believe it's only been two and a half hours and we're already at the final part of this stream. Unless I've thoroughly miscalculated- No, I haven't. I definitely haven't. Because we're in- What the heck? That's wild. That detective is a kind soul. Indeed. He never strays from his own beliefs. He truly has a strong will. He's also the part of the great thief Yadagrasi, but we don't know that yet. That hasn't happened yet. Don't worry about it. But he's pretty scary when you first meet him. I see. Could you tell me everything that happened yesterday? Of course. Allow me to give you a report of our investigation. Craig Bad Sariel. So this is what happened. I'm sorry for the trouble Kate has caused you. I'm truly very sorry. The next present part is actually really long, I think. Well, maybe we could do... That part's a whole thing. Maybe we could do that one today, and then there's two more parts that we could do next stream. Nah. I don't know. Maybe we just leave this stream after this part. I don't know. Who knows? I find it funny Bad's like, an investigate kisses with the Atagracia, but lo and behold, he's here. There was candy. I really, I really wanted to investigate this one. There was some candy, and I was like, hey, I like candy. I'll, I'll, I'll investigate this. You have no need to worry so long as you have told the truth, Miss Hall. Mr. Master, would you mind if I asked you a few questions as well? Yes, I shall divulge all that I know. Da da da, da da da. So best of them, really. He likes candy. Yeah, he just loves candy. Please tell us about the other three contestants in the final round of your contest. Let's see. Miss Delicious's desserts had a fantastic design. However, she broke the rules, so I could not recognize her as the winner. Up until the semi-finals, Mr. Gustavia's flavors and design were to my liking. Unfortunately, both the taste and appearance of his finals entry left much to be desired. And there was something strange about his dessert in the semi-finals. Something strange? Both Mr. Gustavia's and Mr. Dober's desert desserts had the exact same taste. They had different de designs, but, in terms of taste, it was like eating the same thing. What did they le look like? Ah, uh, there should be a picture of them at my mansion. Just casually flexing, okay. Yeah, just go to my mansion looking my five Lamborghinis, it should be in one of those. Bad on the head to steal the lollipops, exactly. Please allow me to show you later. Certainly, thank you very much. And then, there was Mr. Dover's Sherbet Sculptures. Oh, they were absolutely heavenly. Hmm. Did you have a chance to taste his creations? If I recall correctly, his body was discovered in the middle of judging. Yes, but I was not informed of this until after the judging had finished. Since he was not present in the room, I helped myself to a piece of his edible lyre. It was fantastically delicious. I was so moved I broke into song. Don't do that again, please. Wait a minute, please. Did you say the lie was delicious? Could you please give us a little more detail about that? The lie was delicious? I love salt. Fuck. <clears throat> I'm saving, just because I'm scared. <laughs> you ate the lie from the sculpture in Mr. Dober's room, correct? Yes, the one that was in the same glass case as the Gemini sculpture. Please have a look at this picture, Mr. Master. Look at this photograph! Did you eat from this lyre that's missing the strings? Yes, that lyre originally had strings. However, I ate them all, resulting in what you see here in this picture. So, the strings on the lyre were missing because he ate them. I ate it. <laughs> Actually, Delish ate part of the same lyre that you did. It was Beanie! Crack the case! However, oh, she said it was so salty that she could not eat it. Ugh. You don't say! That means there might be a problem with my sense of taste, after all. After all, a problem with your sense of taste? How so? There is a taste disorder called hypo-gu-gu-fuck. I think this is 
Is this a real thing? Because if so, I need to spell it right. Hypo. Goo. See ya. It's a real thing. I need to learn how to pronounce it. Hypogusia. Hypogusia? Well, you're giving me two different. Okay, I'm gonna say hypogusia. Hypogusia! I can't believe they ate the crime scene, that's so sad. That's a word I didn't know it was till this case. You learn something every day. You learn something every day. There's a taste disorder called hypogusia in which you lose the ability to taste salt. Perhaps, have contracted the illness. I just never realized it since I eat nothing but sweets. However, I know now with certainty. So that's why I couldn't tell what the, what the food they served here tastes like. No! For a pastry chef to lose their sense of taste is fatal! Even if there's treatment for taste impairment, there isn't a cure for it yet. But it's probably best that you let the police know so you can receive a medical examination. No, that won't be necessary. There is a recipe in my mansion specifically for making the cure. <laughs> what? A recipe for a drug that will cure your taste impairment. Was that the angel's recipe thing? Yes. Please look for it later when you return to the mansion. Uh, Mancha Master. But that means revealing the... Kate, we should no longer conceal it. From Mr. Gregory. Gregory. Yes, sir. I understand. If that is what you wish. A recipe for a special drug. Just what are they hiding? Well then, I must be returning to the mansion now, so I will take my leave. Yes, we'll be heading there later as well. Kate. Kate, sorry, that was me. What is it, Muncher Master? You should not live for my sake. Uh. You should reconsider your lifestyle so that you can live by yourself, even if I were no longer around. Please do not say things like that. I simply cannot live without you, Munchen Master. I promise to wait for you until you return. Excuse me. Ah, uh, Cade. Catherine. He's Papa. Master Jeff, Kate was crying. Why did you say something so cruel? I sh what do you mean cruel? He's in fucking prison. He's like, hey, I might not be around anymore. I'm sorry. I'm worried about her. Catherine always puts me before herself. What do you mean? She collects pure cat's works and makes sweets. I don't know why I'm singing this part. All to make me happy, nothing more. That is the only reason she does anything. Uh. She always puts aside her own preferences and things that she wants to do herself. I want Catherine to choose to live her own life. I do not want her to waste her valuable life because of me. Is that so? He thinks of Miss Hall as his own daughter. And he would want his children to choose their path in life. And a parent would do anything to protect their own children. That feeling. I also know it as <laughs> I also know it well. Well, that should do it for the questions. We must return to the scene of the crime. Ah, it is already time to leave, I see. So, will my tribulations of questioning resume? We should take measures against their interrogations from our side as well. Can you ask the police about that? Isn't it a thing that, like, you can't do interrogations without a, a, your lawyer present or something? Or, like, you can request your lawyer? Maybe that's not interrogations, I don't know. Can you ask the police about that? I can, but I have other ways in mind as well. When the time comes... Oh, you're a dependable man. I shall be counting on you. Master Jeff, we'll come here every day with the Prince of our progress. And we'll bring Kate too. Yes, thank you very much. I shall be looking forward to it. Mr. Master, 
know that the police will be attempting to get you to confess. I'm sorry to ask an innocent soul like yourself to bear with these painful experiences. But please hold on for now. If you confess, I'm positive that Von Karma will use that to his advantage. And that will make helping you all that much more difficult. I understand. I shall do my best. If you believe- Heh, <laughs> the best. Sorry, you don't get that joke yet. Uh, 18 years in the future, that's gonna be hilarious. If you believe in me until the bitter end, I will definitely get you out of here. See ya, bitch. Look at that loser, he's behind bars. Oh, what the fuck? <coughs> oh, I guess a buddy was discovered in the fountain, that makes sense. <laughs> Detective Bad, thank you for helping us earlier. Yes, thank you. Gregory. Hmm, thanks for what? <laughs> <laughs> There's no need to be shy about it. Tch. Enough about that. I suppose you intend to investigate today too. Of course. We still need more information to prove Mr. Master's innocence. I'm sorry, but apart from this patio, you're not allowed to investigate anywhere else. What? So you're saying we can't investigate? I'm guessing this is Von Karma's doing. Yeah. Von Karma's a bit on edge at the moment. He still hasn't received the autopsy report. Moreover, the only ones in this mansion from his hall and the police. So don't get your hopes up on speaking with the people connected to this case. Von Karma's been completely unreasonable. He's gone too far. Von Karma! Detective Bad, what do you intend to do? I promised. I'll do anything I can to assist you. You have my thanks. You dumbass bitch. That was really rude, Gregory. I don't know why you said that. We won't let any of Von Karma's dirty tricks get the best of us. Detective Bad, is it alright if we investigate the fountain pa patio? Yes, but we've already finished checking everything, except for the fountain. That's fine. As long as there's still something, I shall continue investigating. I think we will end up... I, I think we will end after this part. Because I'm just a bit... Ooh. I was meant to get a blood test. Oh, wait. I can move him. I can push him. Oh, heck yeah. I was meant to get a blood test today, but I slept in. So, I ended up just not going. And I'm really, really glad that I didn't go, because if I did, I think I would actually fucking die. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm so weak today that, like, I think that a blood test would just push me over into the death. What am I investigating? What is there to investigate? Oh, I guess there was a body, wasn't there? These angel statues look like they're eating chocolate. Fondue, 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 fondue. I don't fucking know. It would seem these angel statues are also Pierre Hoquette's works. As expected, a very well made. Looks just like the real thing. So, you've seen a real angel before, Detective Bad. Tch. Defense attorneys. Always the first to find fault with everything. Hmm. Perhaps that was wrong of me. Maybe... Maybe I was bitch. I'm gonna push you, though. I'm gonna push you. I'm gonna push you into the fountain, and then you're gonna be found like that dead body. Why can I not... I'm gonna talk to you. What are you investigating, exactly? That was a... Oh, wait, that's the future. Sorry, I was getting very mixed up. That was the future, wasn't it? Yeah, sorry. My apologies. Oh my god. I'm getting very mixed up. That's 18 years later. There's no body here yet. Sorry, everyone. That was just my prediction for the future that I keep doing. I just... Listen, I'm... I'm stuck in the future. Some people are, are stuck in the past. I'm stuck in the future. I never mind. Sir, I'm testing the water and the fun for foreign matters, sir. Hi, it was you, but was the dead buddy all along. Have you found anything? It seems there was both chocolate and sherbet mixed in with the fun water. It matches the chocolate from Jeff Master's room. And the sherbet that melted in Isaac Dover's room. 
they all share the same comp composition. Oh, Isaac Dover, you say? Oh, well, you mean Pierre Hoquette? Pierre Hoquette. Oh, sorry. Sorry, future again, future again. Wait, is that the future? Wait, no, I'm just actually just being a bitch now. <laughs> Never mind. The fountain water circulates through the streams that flow from each of the flower of rooms. Perhaps the melted sherbet flowed into the fountain. Also, someone's blood was detected as well. What are you saying? How could there have been blood in the fountain? Ah, my prediction. You see, Mr. Bad, I am also Miles Edgeworth. What, are you, are you talking about your eight-year-old son again? No, I... he's... well, he's like 26. It... it... the future. You must understand, it's 18 years in the future, Mr. Bad. 18 years in the future is where I keep on transporting my soul into. Detective Bad, please think back to our investigation of the crime scene. Detective Bad, please look at the crime scene carefully once more. The blood stain that should have remained at the crime scene has disappeared. Oh, fuck. I definitely didn't get any reports about the blood stain being cleaned up. The blood disappeared from the crime scene. Also, part of the treasure chest was missing, too. What? Perhaps the blood in the fountain belongs to this person. The fucking victim? Is that what you're getting at? I think it was Von Karma. I think it was Von Karma. Hmm, the victim. Let's run a comparison with the blood and the murder weapon. Thank you for that noise to signify that it's a match. It's a match. The blood in the fountain is Dover's. What's his first name again? Isaac? Dude, please never name your son Benjamin. Just please never, never name your son Benjamin. Kids at school will fucking obliterate that kid. Wait, I guess he's dead, so he doesn't, we don't have to worry about that, but... Dude, if if you named your son Ben, that that kid would just have a rough, a rough time, dude. Like, oh my god. That would be, that would be awful. To have a name like that. Just Dover in general is a pretty bad name to have. I wonder why the criminal spilled the victim's blood into the fountain. Well, what do we examine? Oh, yeah. A harp and some maracas are lined up here. They're so exquisitely crafted, I can't tell from looking if they're sweets or the real thing. Oh my fucking god. Astra, listen. Imagine if Knightley was called Ben. Just imagine, you know? I'd like to touch them, but that would go against the rule of preserving the crime scene. Keep your hands off them! I already checked. They're real instruments. But if you can't tell by looking, how did you know they weren't real without touching them? I bit it. Indeed, I didn't touch them. Not with my hands, that is. Surely not. No, I'm overthinking it. I know. Had to leave for had to leave for a bit to eat curry, but I'm back. Welcome back, Chloe. Chloe. Chloe, what if his name was Ben? Chloe, what if his name was Ben? What if his name was Ben, Chloe? I can't feel my mouth, that was way too spicy. I'm hungry for spicy food. This case is already making me hungry. Chloe, why are you doing this to me? What if his name was Ben, Chloe? What would you do then? What if his name was Ben? What if? What would you do then, huh? Seems these musical instruments were used in piece of cake. I, they must be broken because... I mean, when 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 it happened, I just heard a... I just heard a... I just heard a... 
I don't know if any of those sounds got caught on the, on the <laughs> mic. Seems these musical instruments are used in piece of cake. Of course, these probably aren't made of candy. <laughs> Hypothetically, for the sake of the argument, what if his name was Ben, just like me? What if my last name was Dover? Checkmate, liberals. Detective Bad looks somewhat disappointed. I want to push you. It's so much easier to push K. Why are you like this, Bad? Get pushed. You fucking... Why are you so difficult? <laughs> you really own the lips today. Thank you. Hypothetically, for the sake of argument, let's say that you were a fucking bitch. Then... You'd be a fucking bitch, and I would win. Hypothetically speaking, of course. Checkmate, liberals. But it's too heavy as a match. Yeah, what the heck? I'm running away. I, what the fuck am I doing? Let's talk to Catherine. <laughs> Miss Hall, I've come to investigate today. How many Gregories does it take to push a bad? Gregory. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know why that keeps happening. It's a weird glitch or something. I don't know. Ah, uh, Munchie Edgeworth. I apologize for my di disgraceful behavior earlier. <clears throat> Cade, she still looks a bit down. What Master said earlier must have been a real shock to her. I prepared the photo I took of the desserts during the sem semifinals. Please, take a look. Oh, yeah. Is this Isaac Dover, does that say it? I saw that this one said Den Dengustavia. Wow, delicious cake is so cute! Yeah, the other two look kind of similar in like terms of colour. Monsieur Master also praised the design of delicious work very highly. Monsieur Gustavia and Dover's design works gained high praise for both taste and design, but... Monsieur Master said it felt like he was eating the exact same thing twice. But it seems that their desserts had completely different tastes for the finals. Granddad! Does anyone remember that? <laughs> the music reminded me of it. <laughs> was there anything else that was different between the finals and the semifinals? It's nothing major, but there was something. During the contest, Monsieur Gustavia's son always came to see him, but there was no sign of him at the finals. His son came to visit. Just like my son. I have a son as well. I wonder if there's anything significant behind that. Would you mind leaving this photo with me? Certainly. Anything to aid in the investigation. Dun, dun. I think there was a silver gonna cover of this song and they made it the Grandad Flintstone theme. That's so cool. And here's the recipe book that contains the special drug for curing taste disorders. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. <laughs> Especially really good, I'll send it to you. Thank you so much. I really need to listen to that. Da 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 da. It's literally it's the same part again. Da dun 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 da 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 da. That cover looks familiar. Wasn't this framed? In Master's room. Yeah, it's the fucking... Why has nobody put this together? <laughs> Since it's also the prize for the contest, we put it on, out on display. Eh? To the contest prize, Angel's Recipe. That seems like a shitty prize, right? Like, not shitty as in, like, that would be a terrible prize to get, but it seems shitty to send it as, like, a cooking prize. Like, you... Why not? Like, what? <laughs> right? Oh, I might know why everyone has participated then. Because so the angel's recipe is like a cure, so Delisha wants it so that, because she's a pharmacist, she wants it so that, um, she could, heckin. Da -da 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 Sorry, it keeps happening. Um, Delisha wanted it because she's a pharmacist, and then I know why Gustavia wanted it too, because I remember that part. It wasn't just a recipe for desserts. That's right, we've informed the participants, but it seems you all don't know yet. So, oh, the participants knew about the true contents of the angel's recipe. But, like, that's a shit thing to give as a prize, you know? Like, you should give that to, like, you know, people who 
like doctors and shit, you know? <laughs> like that's a sh that's shitty to give that out as a as a prize. Like no, make that public. Miss Hall, please tell me all you know about the angel's recipe. This should be fucking free. Exactly. What the fuck? That's that's crazy that they're giving it off as a prize for pastry chefs. Like what the fuck? Oh my god, this is a thing that people should have. That's Delish is based for trying to enter this competition to get this. Why are you get keeping it, Mr. Master? Exactly! Wait, this should be free. Exactly, what the fuck? Thank you, Chloe, so much for sending it. Oh my god. Free healthcare, yeah. Sorry, I forgot that this is America where nothing's free. Ms. Hall, please tell me all you know about the angel's recipe. Well... You are a defense attorney, aren't you? Why do you carry that badge around with you? Because I'm a defense attorney. As long as I have this with me, people can tell that I'm a defense attorney, at first glance. How convenient! If only pastry chefs had such a nut badge! Or better yet, make murderers, make murderers wear a badge! For murderers, there's a thing called handcuffs. If you want to be cured of an illness, you have to win this cooking contest. <laughs> yeah! Imagine if that's how it works. They go to the hospital and they're like, Okay everyone, we've found the cure! We, we found the- I know that all of you are going to die in like three weeks um, from this illness that you have. We have the cure. So basically, cook the best cake, bake the best cake, and uh, we'll give it to you. And then you get to live. Fuck everyone else. They'll die. But uh, you know, sounds pretty good to me. Obviously this isn't as severe, but like, bro, like what the fuck? Da 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 da. I need this music to stop because I keep on just hearing the granddad theme and nothing else. I didn't watch the Flintstones when I was younger, so I I hear the granddad theme, not the not the Flintstones. That's probably just the Flintstones theme. Epic Mr. Beast challenge. <laughs> Guys, today in this video, we gathered 50 dying patients from a hospital and made them bake me the best cake for ten thousand dollars and the cure to their <laughs> life-threatening illness. So, the angel's recipe contains the formula for the drug. Yes, it's a recipe book for new drugs that haven't been released yet to the public yet. What? Give... Where? It has multiple... I... What? What? Clip, that, that better be the clip tonight. <laughs> sure, yep, there you go. But like, what the fuck? This Angel's Recipe doesn't only have that one illness, it has a bunch. It has a bunch of illnesses and you're just giving it as a prize for a cooking thing instead of like giving it to hospitals? What the fuck? Make this public! Dun 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 da 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 dun dun dun. If so to a pharmaceutical company, Ham Trade would fetch a substantial price. You're already like fucking billionaires, you got a fucking mansion. Thank you for getting the music bad because that was really distracting. <laughs> big Farm, I hate Big Pharma. Big Pharma's run by Jimmy Mr. Beast. Guys, in this video, we <laughs> bought every single pharmaceutical company in the world, and now we're gonna make everyone cook to get their medicine. Why is something like that a prize in the contest? It sounds like it should be for free. It sounds like you're really selfish here. Muncher Master is the only heir to the chairman of the Master Group. Master Group? That name sounds familiar. They're a pharmaceutical company who deal in a wide range of products. Then make it free! <laughs> what? Sir? I mean, sorry, not sir, that's you that I'm talking to bad, but like, what? Ah, they've become big news recently with the release of Cool Killer X. Uh, uh. <laughs> That's one of the funniest bits you've done. Thank you, I'll be here all night. That's actually a lie, I'm leaving in like... Half an hour whenever this is done. I haven't used the cold killer products. But I've never once seen you with a cold. He just- he eats shit, Gregory. He's just a creature. We love him. Cold killer eggs? <laughs> I'd like to hear more about the master group. I frankly don't care, but okay. <laughs> Also, why does everyone have fucking earrings in this game? Did Mr. Master not want to follow in his parents' footsteps? Muncha Master wanted to bring joy to people with his desserts. And that's why he put this book of uh, medical treatments behind 
not a paywall, but a contest wall, where only the winner would be able to have it. They're all gay, clearly that's why they all have earrings. That's fair. Blue time will be Have a good food. Yummy. <laughs> Cold killer eggs, poison. Yeah, Ray eats that shit up. He loves poison. His parents also wanted him to become a great pastry chef and supported him. I feel so, so weak. Oh my god. I need food. Definitely ending after this part. <laughs> I was originally like three hours isn't that long, but I'm, I'm, I'm wiped. When his parents died, the recipe book was left to him as his inheritance. That's a shit inheritance, damn. Why would he give away a memento of his parents as a prize in the contest? And also, not only is it a memento of his parents, it's also fucking... <laughs> Why is everyone brushing over this? There were always people who were after it. Something which troubled Muncher Master. Well, yeah, no shit. Duh. I make it public. You can keep the book as a memento, but make it make the contents public. What the fuck? Am I going crazy? What the hell? But just giving away the memento would have been disrespectful to his par parents. I I guess there's not like internet and shit. But like you can still make it public by other means, you know? Go to like I don't know, a hospital, go to a, a doctor, anything. The plot in this case was crazy in hindsight. This is wild. <laughs> so, he decided to pass it over to someone he acknowledged. And the members of the master group approved of that? Like, you won't get your terminal illness cured if you don't cook a really banging cake. Yeah, this is wild. <laughs> Information about new drugs being passed on to outsiders. Of course, they objected. That's why Delicia participated in the contest. Yeah, Delicia's fucking best. We love Delicia. On the order of the Master Group, she was requested to win the championship. Oh, wait, no, she was just gonna hide it forever. Never mind. Fuck Delicia. <laughs> you knew Delicia's true identity from the start. Yes. In order for her to win, I told her Muncher Master's tastes and preferences. What? Why did you help her? I helped her. In order to protect Muncher Master and the Master Group. What? No. <laughs> no, fuck you. If the drug recipes were given to another com company, he would be reprimanded by the board. I... The drug recipe should be public. For everyone. What are you talking about? <laughs> Delicious is a part of Big Pharma? Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry to say Delicia is a pharmacist. Part of Big Pharma trying to trying to get our hands on the drug recipes. So that no one can have them as well, because what the fuck? What is with everyone? What the hell? Gustavia is the only person who I like his intentions for getting this. My water's gone cold again, I'm switching that out. Fuck tap water. Oh my hit tap water. I love spring water. <clears throat> Damn, this one's even colder than the other one. But at least it tastes better. If the drug recipes were given to another company, he'd be reprimanded by the board. I wanted to return the recipes to the company in a way that Munch and Master would accept. So it was due to Miss Hall's help that Delicia was able to reach the finals. Speaking of which, Mr. Dover wasn't a pastry chef either. He sure did well to make it to the finals, considering he's just a sculptor. Yes, for him to be able to make such fine desserts, despite being a sculptor. Miss Devi's a good guy if you just forget you locked two children in a car. That didn't happen. Shush. That was never, never happened, and it's casual. He's fine. He's a lovely fellow, and he's never done a single thing wrong. Yes. From the sherbet sculptures to he made for the finals, it's clear to see he was a great talent. He has great talent, but I can't speak. Could he really have made that by himself? That is all I know. <coughs> is there anything else I can do to help? No. To save Mr. Master. She's trying to help as much as she can. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Catherine. I'm taking out my frustrations about being tired and... Heckin' weak... I'm, I'm, I'm taking, out my, taking out my anger on you. I'm sorry, Catherine. You're lovely. You're lovely, Catherine. Maybe perhaps have some more of that tea from yesterday, please, Miss Hall. I'm sure that would help us get on with the investigation. <laughs> this did not happen, I lied. Thank you, yeah. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I'd like some of Kate's tea too. 
Right. Understood. Duh, duh, duh. It's happening again. Cut the music. Thank you. Kate looks a bit better now. I'm sorry, Kate, but your music is nothing but granddad. Investigation complete. Is that the end? We might have one more, like, argument. We've gathered information about all the contestants. And yet we still haven't heard Gustavia's side of the story. Can we talk to him, please? I love him. That reminds me. Why did you enter Mr. Dover's room, Mr. Gustavia? Oh, uh, well... I forgot to watch Despicable Me, but I'll do it tonight, I swear. I promise. That was because... Objection. Shush, don't tell him! Ray was so zesty before he was a perv. Yeah, he's so... I love young Ray. He's, he's so... he's so good. I love him. He's... he's... A, he's amazing. Silence, Ignoramus! Remember when I called you an Ignoramus? That was funny. What exactly was he doing in Mr. Dover's room? And moreover... Maybe he was adding the Ben to the Dover. <laughs> moreover, something's odd about his semi-final entry. I should Gustavi and Dover. The pastry chef better design and his sculptor skilled only at designing. It would have been extremely difficult for either of them to win the contest alone. Young Ray is so good, but old Ray is so ill sometimes. Yeah. Ray, I think both, but I love both. I tolerate old Ray, yeah. The best way that I can describe old Ray is that he is like Ace Attorney 1 Larry. Like, bordering on like, eh, hey, you're being really creepy and weird. But like, you know, specifically Ace Attorney 1 Larry, because Larry in the later games is just a straight up pedophile. Specifically, Trials and Tribulations. Could it be that Mr. Gustavian and Mr. Dover's connection is... Detective Bad. We have reason to suspect the actions of Dane Gustavia. Yeah. It is imperative that we find a way to contact him at once. I don't fucking know. Delicia. Oh, this conversation's most, most interesting. It's gonna be, uh, Gdan. What? Why am I... Hi, I guess. I'm angry. <clears throat> I was trying to make a a, a womp sound from Mario. Ooh, oh. <laughs> I bang my cane on the ground and I go. Ooh, oh. However, I cannot allow you to speak with Mr. Gustavia. Von Karma. I have already conducted my interag interag poison. <laughs> Manfred Big Farmer. <laughs> Boy, you see, Gregory Edgeworth, I was sent by the master group to. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm fucking done with this. I'm fucking done with this. This is too much. Too much. Too many funnies happening at once. And let me redo my bit. Boy, you see, Gregory Edgeworth. I was sent by the master group to compete in this competition so that I could steal the angel recipe back and b b deliver it back to Van Dyke Master! I can't fucking speak! I've already conducted my interrogation! It is not necessary for him to speak any further, especially to a mere defense attorney. <laughs> but I will answer your questions in that fool's place. It seems Von Karma intends to prevent me from meeting Gustavia in person. Gustavia. I don't fucking know. I understand. In that case, I have but one thing to ask you. Yes? I would like to know the relationship between Mr. Gustavia and Mr. Dover. What do you mean? They're just... the besties. Roommates. Gustavia and Dover's relationship. It's obvious the only relationship they had was that they happened to participate in the same contest. <laughs> that was short. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing more to say. What? How are we supposed to understand anything from so little? If we want Von Karman to divulge the truth, we have no choice but to present evidence. It's all too obvious that he's hiding something. I can't speak, Gregory. Gregory, have you heard of scatting? I've raised your son Miles to become a scat master. And you don't even know! You fool. 
I'm going to kill you in an elevator, and then I'm going to skibbity bop all over your grave, bitch, and then your son will become the next scat man. I was about to say Von Kama's testimonies were really good, but he said two things. That's a really good testimony, I think, you know? Clear and concise. Gustavi and Dover's relationship. Yes, that is what I'm asking. Are you sure Mr. Gustavi and Mr. Dover aren't linked in some way? Does Manfred, like, skibbity toilet? For you see, Gregory Edgeworth, I was watching the latest rendition of Skibbity Toilet. Skibbity Toilet 167. It's almost coming up to 169. I hope that they introduce Skibbity 6 when that happens. <laughs> Dude, I don't know anything about Skibbity Toilet. I just made some shit up on the spot. <laughs> Do not interrupt me with your baseless allegations. I'm gonna look up Skibbity Toilet. I'm gonna watch some Skibbity Toilet. And I'm gonna make Blaze the Vest a big fan of Skibbity Toilet. Just do you watch. The Walk PIC is gonna love Skibbity Toilet. Just for you. <laughs> this stream is so good. It's so funny. <laughs> Do not interrupt me with your baseless allegations. If we were in court right now, I'd have you held in contempt. I don't think Von Karma is that kind of authority, though. Oh, he does. Do not watch Skibbity Toilet, please. I have to. For, for the bit, you must understand. For your own sanity. Listen, I gotta... Von Karma is famous for having even the judges wrapped around his finger. What? That's insane! Seems like it won't be easy to go against him in court. Do not watch Skibbity Toilet Lesson. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta expand on my bits, Chloe. You gotta understand. You gotta understand. Yeah, I'm Inspector Gregson for some reason. You gotta understand. When I do a bit, I gotta look into it. Oh, bars. I gotta look into the bit so that you get Skibbity Toilet Syndrome, Maya. That's fair. Francesca will cry at me. <laughs> Brother Gideon Karma, please continue your argument. It's obvious the only relationship they had was that they happened to be lovers. Ooh. Roommates and besties, perhaps. It may have been a coincidence that the two participated in the same contest. However, you can't say for sure that they weren't connected. <laughs> Defense attorney, how many times must I tell you? If you have no evidence to challenge my argument, be silent! That was rude. I need to show evidence. Yeah, I'm guessing it's just the picture of the desserts looking similar. Your mouth may be silent, but your eyes tell me everything. What is it you want to say? Does he want me to speak or be silent? It would seem Von Karma does not want us to know Gustavia and Dover's real connection. Yeah. I feel like people ship Manfred and Gusta Gustavia, that sounds like a thing. That's probably. Dun, 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 dun. So I'm pretty sure that this is the, um... I think that we got a picture of... yeah. Objection! Objection! Prosecutor Von Karma, I do not like Skibbity Toilet. I think it's dumb, and for babies. For children, even. What? But Skibbity Toilet is my favorite TV program! Von Karma, it's not a TV program. It's a series of YouTube videos. I don't even know if they've released Skibbity Toilet 167 yet. I think you're just making shit up. But, but Skibbity Sex, it's coming, Gregory. Gregory. Prosecutor Von Karma, I'd like you to look at these desserts. Why do you keep on turning it, turning it to Fun Time Freddy Fazbear? Was it? No. Glam Rock Freddy Fazbear. There we go. Got it. <laughs> Newsflash, Gregory doesn't like Skibbity Toilet. Fuck step ladders versus ladders debate. Skibbity toilet versus no skibbity toilet. That's the new S attorney debate. <laughs> they look at the toilet. Manfred's like, oh, this looks like skibbity toilet. No, this just looks like a toilet, Manfred. It does not look anything like skibbity toilet. Skibbity toilets all have heads coming out of them. No, it looks just like skibbity toilet with lasers shooting out of its eyes. And the other things that Skibbity Toilet does. Manfred, do you know anything about Skibbity Toilet? Uh, yeah, uh, duh. Well, to tell the truth, I I heard that Mr. Gustavia likes Skibbity Toilet, and so I, I just, I really wanted to impress him with my knowledge of Skibbity Toilet. But I, I, 
I, I, I haven't watched any yet. Hmm, that makes sense, because Skibbity Toilet is bad. <laughs> Welcome back, Astro. You joined at a great time. Does the Skibbity Toilet do a backflip? Uh, the Skibbity Toilet does a backflip, and, 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 it ha and it has sunglasses, and it's, uh, it's really cool. Mr. Von Karma, I don't know if it does a backflip. <laughs> Mr. Von Karma, I'd like you to watch the Skibbity Toilet video. Astro, you missed so much law, I can tell. <laughs> yeah. The desserts were made for the contest sem semi-finals. Don't you think these two have a particularly impressive design? <clears throat> Just what are you getting at? These two desserts were made by Mr. Gustavia and Mr. Dover. I wouldn't exactly call Mr. Gustavia's design skills praiseworthy. And yet for the semi-finals, he is able to produce something comparable to Mr. Dover's. Furthermore, these two desserts have the exact same flavor. What are you trying to say? I'm saying it's possible they collaborated with each other on their entries. Prosecutor Von Karma, please take a closer look at their desserts. At first glance, they may look completely different. No, they don't. <laughs> but even though the designs are different, it's clear they were made from the same materials. Is that so? The same flavoring com composition. It's impossible to dismiss their similarity as coincidence. The very existence of these two desserts point to a link between Mr. Gustavia and Mr. Dover. Hmm. <laughs> Since you already know this much, I'll tell you the truth. Ugh. Did Von Karma know about their collaboration? However, what I'm about to say is not going to help your case at all. They're dating and gay. They're dating. They were not roommates. I was actually performing some gay erasure, Gregory. <laughs> Von Karma! If you want to know about Gustavia and Dover's reconnection so badly, I'll tell you. Last night when I interrogated Gustavia, he told me about his connection with Dover. He said that Dover's real first name was Ben. Do you get it, Gregory? Ben Dover. It's a funny play on words, like an Ace Attorney name pun, perhaps. Until the day before the finals, they worked on their desserts together. Well, I already... I already pieced that together. You knew about the cooperation all this time, didn't you? Didn't you? Why would you conceal the truth? Objection. The butterflies and delicious cake remind me of the Babal symbol, and that if this just Ace Attorney brain rot. Oh my god, Palaena? Oh my god, Palena, it's you. Oh my god, Phoenix, right? Oh my god, Male Strongheart? The whole gang's here. The three... Dudes. <laughs> I would appreciate it if you didn't sell my reputation! Until I explain my points in court, I avoid giving away unnecessary details. I was merely saving you time. How can you act like this and keep the truth from us? His concealment of the truth is something I simply cannot ignore. It's almost like he's a bad dude. This game predicted Strongheart. What are you talking about? Strongheart came before this game. I played it before this game, so it came up before this game. Silly. If you want to know about it, I'll tell you. Please do. It seems you knew about their real connection all along. Why did you hide it from us? Tit tit tit. I would never divulge information to a mere insect such as yourself so easily. Someone who does not even like Skibbity Toilet. I'm not a fool like that detective after all. Ugh, I was just doing things my way. I... wait, what, how does the song go? I did it my way. Then it was because he defied me that he gained this information in the first place. Actually, this game predicted Phoenix, never mind. Strongheart's been long dead. Yeah, exactly. You silly. The 1800s was in the past, so it happened before this game. Last night, when I interrogated Gustavia, he told me about his connection with Dover. Hey. Last night. That was after Mr. Dover's sculptures had melted, right? Yes. 
Afterwards, I went to interrogate Gustavia personally. I interrogated by v v Von Karma? Ugh, sounds scary. Knowing Mr. Gustavia, I feel like he probably tried to meditate through the inter interrogation. The moment he closed his eyes. Why does the pasta catch D? That don't make sense. Things were simpler back then, when it was 3D. I snap my fingers like so, to show him that no one remains silent in front of me. And did that have any effect? Because of that, I was able to get a perfect confession about his connection with Dover. Until the day before the finals, they worked on their desserts together. Fuck. Mr. Masters said Dover was the favorite to win at the finals. Which means, he must have still been cooperating with Mr. Gustavi at the time, right? Yes, that is what I believe. I must have evidence that proves that they still cooperated during the finals. Until the day before the finals, they worked in the disaster together. Why do you think Mr. Gustavia and Mr. Dover collaborated? Why? Because Gustavia had poor design sense, and Dover was a novice at baking. He had Shum's little projection device things that were so high tech in the past, as the boomers say we've gone downhill over time. Exactly. There used to be fucking hologram devices, and now we don't even. An instant camera is the. Is the impressive feat? Come on! Without the help of each other, they would have never made it through a single round. If so, what was their mutual goal? Why cooperate until the finals? By the way, did we have any proof that Gustavia had, like, poor design sense? Or was that just something that we said? Because I swear that that's never been shown, right? <laughs> they really went back in time over time, yeah. The finals will be fought on our own merits, Gustavia said, and he ended their collaboration. Gustavia's goal was to obtain the title of the world's greatest pastry chef. Now we barely have flip phones and black and white photos, yeah! It seems his pride as a pastry chef won out in the end, because love always wins, Gregory. Victory in the finals would certainly have been hollow had he cheated. So, he believes that their cooperation only went as far as the semi-finals. But what if it really continued through the finals? I was going to Could you explain the cooperation in a little more detail? Hmm. Very well. Another statement? Why? Because Gustavi had poor designs and Zendover was a novice at baking. Concerning your statement about Mr. Gustav Gustavia's designs, I have no objections to that. When did we... When did... <laughs> When did we decide that Gustavia was terrible at design? Did I just miss a huge part? Like, this is so rude. Love always wins Manfred von Karma. <laughs> I have no objections either. He's got no sense of style. Really? When did we decide that? Oh, oh, it's because he can't make big things. Right, I remember. Yeah, because he tries to make big wolf and he makes little puppy and he tries to make big dragon and he makes seahorse. Can't he actually design things, though? He can in the future, but I don't think he can right now. Like, that's literally his animations. Yeah, but you must understand, Chloe. He makes a younger version of what he means, and so it's not right. Silly. Like, that's not- <laughs> that's not no sense of style, that's just he's making the wrong thing. Like, I- I think he's just- I think he just doesn't know what a- what a wolf is, you know? <laughs> when I saw him attempting to fashion my likeness with candy, Hmm, just thinking about it disgusts me. I actually liked his candy crafting, though. Ben liked being the little puppy. He loved it. A novice pastry chef, and one with no sense of design. It's only natural such pathetic specimens would associate with each other. Their cooperation lasted only through the semi-finals. For the finals, they were on their own. He's a good artist. He's just dumb. Exactly. They cooperated the day before, but not the day itself. And that seems highly unnatural, don't you think? Not really. Because if it's the- if it is the finals, then it's like, okay, well... We can't both win, so let's just- this- this time be for real, you know? That seems highly unnatural, don't you think? Even though I don't think it happened, because we have to present evidence, but still, it, it's not that unnatural. What I'm saying is only the truth. 
How unnatural it is matters not. But weren't you unnaturally concealing that very same truth just a minute ago? There must have been a reason I hid this fact from us. Alright, so now we present evidence. There it is. You see that Mr. Gustavia and Mr. Dover did not collaborate during the finals. That's strange. Delicious testified that Dover's sherbet was most delicious. Being another chef, I doubt he could have done all that by himself. Perhaps the two of them cooperated during the finals as well. No! Duck Prince Attorney, how many times do I have to tell you? Delicious scones subjective opinion cannot be admitted as evidence. There's still a chance that I'm little Scat Man's World. Bubble paper bubble 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 I'm calling out from Scatland. I'm calling out from Scat Man's World. If you wanna be free, you better listen to me. You've got to learn how to see and your fantasy. There's still a chance that another chef could make something tasty. Sorry, I got really passionate about that sentence. My wife is an amateur, yet her cooking rivals that of world-class chefs. He loves his wife. We love him. He's awesome. How is that not a subjective opinion? Hey, Kazuma? Oh yeah, sorry, Astro. You missed the fact that Von Karma scats. Moreover, even if you take the pharmacist's testimony to be true, it changes nothing. Shield some Asogi. Oh yeah, and Chloe, you... <laughs> Both of you don't have context, but for different reasons. Chloe doesn't... Chloe wasn't there when we did the Kazuma sketching bit, and Astro wasn't there when we did the Von Karma sketching bit. Both of you are confused for different reasons. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> she also mentioned that a part of his show was very salty, which means you can hardly call his entry for the finals perfect. Unlike me, the 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 perfect man. That's what they called me back in college, the perfect king. I won a perfect tournament, and that's. The Mario Kart. No! Oh. oh my God, he nude. Tch, tch, tch. What? No more objections? Is there no way I can prove the collaboration? If Kazuma, the if Kazuma didn't scat, then scatting wouldn't have been invented. That's so fucking true. Oh my God, I missed the DGS days. Kazuma scatting was the fucking pinnacle of comedy. Yeah, the Kazuma scatting was before his skibbity toilet fixation. That's the law. Yeah, exactly. There it is. Is there no way I can pro prove their collaboration? Um, Mr. Edgeworth, there is something that's been bugging me. Hmm? What is it? The desserts Mr. Dover made for the finals would have taken a long time to make, right? Indeed. They were frozen sculptures, after all. How would he have had the time to sculpt it after it was frozen? Let alone help Mr. Gustavia with his design as well. Ugh. The way I see it, just waiting for the sherbet to freeze would have used up all his time. Well, if you're just waiting, then you can do other shit, dumbass, you fucking, fucking idiot. Sorry, that, that was rude. Hmm, just how was he able to make those sherbet sculptures? It's cold, let me pull up my collar. Raymond, you may have had, you may have a promising future after all. Thanks to you, I've noticed one more possibility. Huh? That's right, Mr. Dover's sherbet needed time to freeze properly. And the contest time limit would not have been enough. The method Mr. Dover used to make his sherbet within the time limit was... It's prepared in advance. If the sherbet was prepared in advance, all you need to do is sculpt it. You! Just what are you mumbling about? Please excuse me. I finally realized... Your earlier view was correct. Huh? Mr. Wretchworth? What are you doing? Oh, so you're finally admitting defeat. No. All I'm admitting to is the truth of one of your statements. Dover and Gustavia's collaboration lasted only until the day before the finals. It is exactly as you said. 
they only cooperated until the day before the finals. The sculptures in Mr. Dover's room were all made out of sherbet. Such an amount would most likely need to be left overnight to freeze. Which means Mr. Gustavia prepared Mr. Dover's sherbet in advance the day before. <laughs> That's right! So you realize Gustav his cooperation ended the day before the finals. You may have a promising future right then. Ryan proceeds to eat a whole page of paper. <laughs> This is my favorite part of the pursuit team players catching Bunkham as Gregory feels so good. I just I just clicked a button, I don't know, but fair enough. Then why did Mr. Dover not help Mr. Gustavian return? The views of the dead are of no concern to me. The only views I care about are the views that get put onto the Skibbly Toilet YouTube videos. If you aren't going to answer that, I'll need to get in touch with Mr. Gustavian myself. Or was your interrogation not quite as thorough as you claim? You ingrate! You damn mock me! That was not my intention, but I do have a problem with your attitude. I want you to give us a clear reason why we can't speak to Mr. Gustavian person. Hmm, a clear reason? Gustavian Dover's collaboration has no bearing on this case! Attention. You claim the collaboration is irrelevant. If Mr. Gustavian and Mr. Dover's relationship had turned sour, it could serve as a motive for murder. You're saying that Gustavian and Dover's collaboration was linked to the motive for murder? If that were the case, why did he not conceal it? After all, we found out about this collaboration with Gustavian himself! Ugh. He just started scatting. If you really are a lawyer, show us evidence that gives us reason to suspect Gustavia, or... Fight me in a scat battle, one or the other, Mr. Gregory Edgeworth. I don't know how to scat. Only one of Mr. Gustavia's actions has been suspicious so far. Doubtless Von Karma already knows of this fact. This could be a trap by Von Karma. Hmm, what's wrong, defense attorney? Cat got your tongue? But, I mustn't back down now. Mr. Gustavia sneaked into Mr. Dover's room. His reasons for this are currently unclear. But the very fact he secretly entered the victim's room is reason enough to suspect him. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize Gregor was onto Gustavia before Miles. This makes me even more sad. Oh well. You know, he died, it's casual. <laughs> if that's the extent of it, I can dispel those doubts. Cat got your tongue, or are you still in a holiday kind of mood? Thanks for finishing, Astra. <laughs> Is your mind as cloudy as the English sky? I knew it. Was it a trap after all? I was intending to save this for the courtroom, but I'll make a special exception. We wouldn't want to prolong the trial with unnecessary information, would we? Take a look at this. Uh, look at this photograph. This is... This is a photo of Gustavia and Dover, and their sons. Gustavia entered Dover's room in order to steal this photo. Oh my god, that's why Edgeworth got that line. He got it from Manny. <laughs> Learned it from his adopted papa. To steal the photo. It seems their sons attended the same elementary school. Apparently, he thought that he'd be suspected if people found out he and Dover were acquainted. Their sons also like chess, an abnormal amount. My son also likes chess, an abnormal amount. Oh my god, the kids. Yes, just like you're doing now. Why did he smile when he's panicked? There's nothing suspicious about Gustavia's actions. No further room for argument. No! He's still adamant on not letting us meet with Mr. Gustavia. Gustavia? Fuck. I have an investigation to return to. I have no more time to waste on the likes of you. Okay. I'm just a forensics guy, though. Curse that von Karma. Calling us a waste of time. What should we do, Mr. Edgeworth? At this rate, Master Jeff will be... Von Karma is... busy? Of course. Why would he be so busy? 
Both the body and murder weapon have been found, and he already has his suspect. The police should have more than enough evidence to prove Mr. Master's guilt. If that's the case, then why is Von Karma still investigating the crime scene? Mr. Edgeworth, is there something wrong? It seems I've been overlooking a matter of vital importance. Considering that he already has the evidence he needs to convict Mr. Master, I feel that Von Karma isn't as composed as he should be. He didn't even tell Detective Bad the full results of the investigation. Thanks for showing this again, I forgot. Yeah. Von Karm is a bit of on edge at the moment. Edge worth, you might say. He is still hasn't received the autopsy report. Oh my god, he's gonna update the autopsy report. Furthermore, something vanished from the crime scene, and we still don't know why. Detective Bad, please look at the crime scene carefully once more. The bloodstain that should have remained at the crime scene has disappeared. I definitely didn't get any reports about the bloodstain being cleaned up. But the strangest thing we found wasn't in Mr. Master's room at all. It's a match. The blood in the fountain is Dover's. So we have to match the blood in the fountain is the blood that's missing. Thanks. Thanks for that. Mr. Dover's blood vanished from Mr. Master's room and somehow found its way into the fountain. What does this mean? Well, there's a blood stain that disappeared and then there's a blood somewhere else. Logic. Logic is so stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry. This logic is always so silly. I guess it's logic. They might as well have just called it common sense. But like, oh, the logic just really is silly sometimes. Although the victim's blood wasn't found in Mr. Master's room, it was detected in the water fountain. There would be no need for the killer to conceal the bloodstains after the body was found. It's unnatural that the only bloodstain that would be found was the body disappeared. Unless the body was moved, the blood would have still remained on the chocolate. Don't tell me. Someone removed the body and then erased the bloodstains. Oh yeah, no fucking shit, Gregory. 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 It takes until AI25 for logic to actually take more than common sense. It's still not even that hard to. <laughs> it's possible that the body was removed from the crime scene and the autopsy report still has not arrived. Although we have a murder weapon and a suspect, we don't know much about the body. Oh my god, the body's disappeared. Oh my god, DGS, 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 DGS. The body's missing. Dove is alive, Dove is alive, Dove is alive. He's gonna come back, he's gonna come back. Mask, 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 mask. I wear a mask with a smile for hours at a time. I've been investigating under the assumption that the body's been discovered. Perhaps this assumption was wrong from the very beginning. Why didn't Von Karma give Detective Bad the autopsy report? He's in the suitcase. I wasn't thinking of that one, but he is in the suitcase. He's in one of Ms. Rodda's suitcases, yeah. DGS, DGS. To understand that, yes, I must turn my logic around. I hate the turn my thinking around shit. It's so dumb. My thinking shouldn't be, why is Von Karma hiding information about the body? But rather, what if Von Karma doesn't even have the information to begin with? It's always so stupid. What happens if I think of it like that? It's possible that the body wasn't removed by the police for autopsy. It was moved and hidden by the real killer. M Mr. Edgeworth! I've heard many dark rumors surrounding Von Karma. He's a prosecutor who forges evidence, fabricates testimonies, and makes backroom deals. He goes into the back rooms. He meets wire body or whatever it is. And he makes deals to get evidence from it. You mean he's lost in the back rooms? Yeah, I've heard that too. But what does that have to do with this? Well, because he's fucking forging evidence. What do you think? I try to avoid judging others based on rumors. And I didn't let those rumors influence my opinion on Von Karma. Until today. It seems... 
is a man who would distort the truth. Distort the truth? You don't mean... Forgery? Yeah, that's what I just said. He makes deals, skibbity toilet deals, nice. Von Kama, skibbity toilet, backroom, scat. This is... What's... What's going on? <laughs> me, sh me shaking Gregory right now not to call Von Kama out. Gregory, Gregory, you're gonna die. Gregory, stay away from the elevator, Gregory. I do. And I can't allow him to get away with this. Hey, bitch! What the fuck? I must return to the prosecutor's office. For now, not a word to that attorney. Uh, Roger. My name's Manfred. <sighs> what the? Why are you pointing? I'm not over there. What do you want, defense attorney? I want to know the truth that you've been hiding. Wasn't, wasn't this, wasn't Von Kama Forgery pointed out during the courtroom? I could have sworn it was. Maybe this, the anime or something is influencing my decision. I want to know the truth that you've been hiding. Fool! Are you trying to mislead the police's investigation again? If you interfere with the investigation anymore, I'll be forced to reprimand you myself. It is, it's in the court. So does, does Gregory just say like, hold it, you're forging evidence. And Von Kama's like, no. And then it's pointed out later, off screen. Objection. Police? No. My objection is with you. What? Isn't it a prosecutor's job to ensure justice for criminals? Hm. What are you saying? I have no time to debate the job of a prosecutor with you. However, I will tell you one thing. My job is to ensure all those I prosecute are found guilty. Before the perfect proof, there can be no room for doubt. But also you find out his bet's gonna be a bit beforehand. Well that, fair enough. And to find that perfect proof, he would even stoop to forgery. <laughs> I was wondering what you were going on about. You intend to accuse me of forgery, don't you? Yes. And it's for that reason. You did not allow Detective Bad to investigate. <laughs> what do you mean? The real reason Detective Bad wasn't investigating was not so we could keep an eye on us. It was to hide the fact that you never found the body. They never found the body? You cretins! You will cease with these ludicrous accusations! Yeah, I will not tolerate any further insults! In that case, let us verify the body. If you do, we will have ev evidence that shows whether I'm right or not. T -t -t -t. The burden of proof falls on you, defense attorney. I have no reason to comply with your baseless conjecture. You must have noticed it too, the lack of bloodstains at the crime scene. So why did the blood vanish? And more importantly, where did it go? Foolishness! Why would anyone erase just the blood in the chest that contained the body? Yes, that's exactly right. If the body had been found there, the disappearing bloodstains would have no meaning at all. However, what if the body was already gone? To erase the traces of the body being there, one would have to get rid of all the bloodstains as well. Why make such a fuss over those bloodstains? It seems like a trivial detail to me. Or, are you saying that you can show me where those bloodstains went? In court, everything must be said with evidence. Isn't that right, Von Karma? In that case, I'll show you the evidence supporting my claim. What? Which piece of evidence shows where the blood in the Mr. Master's room went? The fountain? Do we have that as evidence? Uh... Well, you see... I guessed. It went to the blood. What? I, I was- I was li literally clicking it. I was getting ready. What?
Oh. So that's, so we did have the fountain, it just was a picture of not the fountain, it was a picture of Master's room. That's the fountain. Thanks, Gregory. Gregory. <clears throat> there were traces of the victim's blood found in the fountain. Ugh! Traces of Mr. Master's chocolate were also found in this very fountain. In other words, the body was washed down the stream, which then flowed into the fountain. All of this points to only one possibility. After the body was removed, someone erased the blood stains. Ah! Von Karma, where was the body really found? If you really found the body, you should be able to answer. Ah! You! How, how do you know this information? How do you know the results of the water composition test on the fountain? Because I allowed them to investigate. Ah! Always a thorn in my side. From here on out, I will not allow you to associate any further with this case. <laughs> it's not like you were letting me do much anyway. Von Karma, you still haven't answered my question. Or, are you admitting to the fact that you didn't find the body after all? T -t -t -t. You say I never found the body? Where's your evidence? Uh, He's never going to confess. I have nothing further to say to you. Gregory Edgeworth, this matter will be decided in court. We'll see just how well your logic holds up there. Von Karma, I know your methods are wrong. I promise without fail, I will expose the truth you've hidden. I then died. Oh. Detected bad. I'm sorry. It's because you let me investigate that. No, this was bound to happen. Sooner or later. Gregory, no, don't expose him. Don't do it. I'm shaking him right now. <laughs> this is also the first time I've been restricted in my investigation. Your theory that they never found the body sounds pretty close to the mark. That, I will make clear in court. Heh, <laughs> if, if there's anything I can do to help, let me know. Even though, I'm no longer in charge of this case. Then, though I'm very sorry about this, I have one more favor to ask of you. <laughs> it's not Edgeworth that got him. Hey, what are you guys whispering about? I want to know too. Huh. This will be my trump card in court. The information I've gathered up until now should be enough to prove Mr. Master's innocence. But if all else fails, I'll have this ready. Your trump card? <laughs> You'll see at the trial. Wow, I get to be at the trial too? Of course. You are my assistant after all. <laughs> I'll be an Ace Attorney too next year! Why did nobody laugh? I was waiting for the for the laugh track to play. Von Karma will never beat the two of us! Right. Although I hope to clear Mr. Master's name before you become a lawyer. Huh, <laughs> well I fucking failed at that, didn't I? Ace Attorney too, justice for all? Oh my god, you're so right! <laughs> If Von Karm is to be my opponent, he'll want the trial ended in a day. That's right. We have to save Master Jeff as fast as we can. After all, this is you we're talking about. I'm sure you'll beat Von Karma. My name is Gregory Etchworth. I'm a defense attorney. And I died in an elevator. Jeff Master, alone in a dark cell, arrested on false charges. I must expose Von Karma's lies if I'm to save him. <laughs> to be continued, nice. I don't know why sometimes it's on the no button. But yeah, I think that's it for the Gregory parts now.
Yep, we're back to current day, so we're gonna... He's dead, fuck. Yep. Uh, that is it for... Today. So yeah. That, that, that's gonna do it. My throat is a little bit hurting. Oh wait, sorry. Let me turn off Line Coldly since we have music. <clears throat> you don't get Line Coldly, you get this instead. <laughs> this case is literally longer than a blaze, yeah. This case is so fucking long, nine parts, like Jesus, oh my god, that's crazy. But yeah, that is going to do it for today. Uh, yeah. I hope that everyone had a good time. I don't remember when my next stream can be, but it's not going to be tomorrow. It's going to be a little while, like four days maybe, I don't know. But we'll be finishing this next stream. Uh, and then hopefully case 4 and case 5 I can do each in two streams each. But who knows, we'll see, because I think case 4 was six parts long and case 5 is five parts long. Thank you for the stream, so good, thanks. I've been really weak all day, oh, for, for the past few days, honestly, but like, today was really rough, so... I'm glad I got to, um, do a stream, and I'm glad that it wasn't like a total disaster or anything. There, there was one disaster, though, that one part where I accidentally loaded instead of saving. <laughs> but yeah, that's gonna do it for today. I had a really good time, I hope everyone else had a really good time, and, uh, yeah. Scatman's World! Bubble, babe, ba 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 ba